Welcome to my latest Warhammer 40,000 bat report. This is 3,000 points of Warhammer 40k today. We're going big. The religious zealotry of the Black Templars means the slow, rotting death of the 14th Legion. Hi, Salton Place from Salton Place YouTube channel. Hi. Hi. Yeah, hi. Sorry, uh, normally uh, you ask me to say hi. <laughs> say hi. Hi. How are you doing? I'm all right. You got, I mean, you just have to tell people you've got a new toy. Tell people your new toy. You turned up with it today. Uh, I, well, it's okay. It's not a 40k toy because those people are like, wow, has he brought a Titan? No, I, I bought a, a truck. A I, bought, big... I bought a pickup. I've got a Ford Ranger now because I'm that guy. Merka. <laughs> yeah, I have two dogs. And this is my excuse. I need to fit two dogs in the vehicle. And I had a Honda Civic before, and I'm saying to myself that I couldn't fit them in that vehicle. Yeah, and my, <laughs> my wife saw your truck and says, I want a truck now. So yeah, now, you didn't know that. Uh, no, uh, now I know that she wants... Anyway, you've bought Black Templars. I have. You've bought 3,000 points of Black Templars. They brought some trucks. The last time we threw down against the Black Templars, it was nasty, it was brutal, it was Tyranids. You had an unkillable Land Raider. Yes, and you had some pretty hard-to-kill Tyranids. And we did Knights with the Templars shortly afterwards, and that was brutal too. Too. This is one of the armies that in this edition I think GW got right. Yeah? Yeah. I think at 3,000 points, particularly with your style of play, which is, ah, very it's well, yeah. Tree, <laughs> it's going to be over quite quickly. Maybe. We'll Maybe. see. I don't know. So, Depends how well you roll those saves. <laughs> let's have a look. And this is 3,000 points of beautifully painted religious madmen. They still have Oath of Moment, but they Black do. Templars tell people what they do. They have God on their side. Yes, they do. <laughs> so they can choose one of four vows, and that's what I'm going to be doing today. Technically, they can use any of the Space Marine detachments, because they do know them. Yes. But I'm choosing the one that was designed for the Black Templars, which is where you choose one of four vows. And the one I'm choosing is the one where you get exploding sixes in combat, because I like rolling more dice. So in close combat, sixes explode. Yes. Done. Done. Nice and simple. Easy, easy. But there's different stratagems and everything as well because you can change one of them for a thing yeah thanks for the reminder because I might have forgotten about you still that. have uh, everyone has armor contempt armor contempt you still have all the juicy things but basically I want to keep you at the end of a very long poll yeah but you're not going to be able to no. Because there's two Land Raiders with assault ramps. <laughs> Brilliant. So do you want to talk with us through what you brought today? Absolutely. I'll start with the back row because it's easy. We've got an Impulsor that's going to have some flamey lads inside with a Banner Bearer. Okay. We've got a Sakaran because Flip Sakaran's are cool. So in the Impulsor, some flamey lads with a Banner Bearer. Yes. Why are you putting flamey lads with a Banner Bearer in an Impulsor? So that's an assault vehicle. It can advance and they can still get out and shoot. They just can't charge. And how cool is it to have a bunch of guys clearing their way with flamers whilst a guy holds a standard above their heads? Uh, that's, that's really cool. What does the standard do? Um, he gives an extra OC okay. and he has a four up feel no pain uh, when he's in the centre of the battlefield. He also actually has an enhancement while we're there called Tannhauser's Bones, which halves all damage incoming to him. Who's Tannhauser? Uh, it was a dude. Okay. <laughs> Next in the backfield. We've got a Sikaran with the auto cannons, a bolter and two las cannons. This is a Horus Heresy vehicle, but it's in Legends and it's awesome. I like the chains. You put the Thank missile, you. the hunter killer on the side of as course, well. Of course, yeah. Of course. Yeah. Wouldn't be wouldn't be Black Templars without a little cherub hanging on the back there. And yeah, talking he's about, messing with lights. Talking about statues clamped to the back of vehicles. Someone put a statue on the back of your Land Raider. Yeah, it can't go through those low bridges, so okay. it has to go round. But it does have flamers and auto cannons because it's the Redeemer variant. And I've got inside it five sword brethren with chapter master High Marshal Helbrecht. It's five sword brethren and Halbrecht. And Halbrecht is an absolute G. Yeah, basically start the fight phase. He doesn't do impact as such, but he does a bunch of mortal wounds and then fights. At the fight, start the fight phase. Before anyone fight fights, phase. yeah. I've ran into him a couple of times now since you've brought him and I Beast. haven't killed him yet. So I'm not saying that there is a, a target on his chest because I probably won't be able to kill him, but he is an absolute beast, particularly as he's with these sword brethren. They've got three wounds. Uh, yeah, three wounds, and they give plus one. They can choose either an extra attack, which applies to everyone, including Helbrecht, yes. or plus one damage, which is yes. awesome. When you already have the three damage sword. How many points is Helbrecht these 120, days? 120. 120. Yeah, he used to be 95, which he, is ridiculous. It was ridiculous yeah. at 95. Yeah, so okay. he's, he's beast. Second Land Raider, Laz Cannons, God Hammer pattern this time, but this is actually technically the Phobos pattern because it's an old one. It's a Mark II pattern Phobos Land Raider yeah. with loads of stowage on the top. They've kept this one chugging for 10,000 years. Well, they're old. They yeah. did about. So this was in the Heresy, but it has God Hammer pattern land, uh, Laz Cannons, which is cool. Okay. Another five sword brethren because don't leave home without them when you're Black Templars player. Right. I don't know how amazing they are actually in the grand scheme, but they're cool AF. Yeah. And they've got Chaplain Grimaldus, the Reclusiarch. 
What about it? So Grimaldus is jumping in one Land Raider and Halbrecht is jumping in the other Land Raider. Well, Halbrecht's also got some Blade Guard, a Captain and a Lieutenant with him, but I was going to come back to them. What? <laughs> yeah, these guys. So we've got uh, Brother Captain Bastelan and Brother Lieutenant Gideon. And they're both going in with three Blade Guard because they do some absolute beastly stuff. And they're going to go in the Land Raider yeah. as well. I might as well talk about Bastelan as he has an enhancement that basically allows him and his squad to uh, have explosions on five ups. It's Sigismund's seal, and he gets an extra attack. In close combat. In close combat, yes. For the whole squad. For the whole squad. And the lieutenant allows lethal hits on five ups. Nice. So I'm pleased you've only brought a squad of three Blade Guard with them then, because then that would be lots of explosions. It's uh, they can't fit. They they wouldn't have fit in the land raider. So you've got a captain. You've got the high marshal. You've got the Yeah. You're going full in. Who's this fella over here then? So this is a Judicia, as yet unnamed, but he's pretty cool. I kind of treat my Black Templars Judicia as almost like champions instead, which is why he's not got all the chaplain heraldry all over him. Okay. I like to think he's just a better fighter. Okay. So he gets fight first for him and his unit. Yeah. And he has devastating weapons on his executioner's great blade. Okay. Which is cool. And he's leading a squad of three blade guard. Sorry, the engines are revving. Yeah. And they're ready to go. Yeah, the engines are revving. <laughs> uh, we skipped over in the backfield. You've got Gladius. Yeah, Gladiator, cool. Lance. So like, this is magnetised. Normally I bring the melter version, right. but because Black Templars get extra melters anyway, I thought I'd bring the big gun version. Extra today. melters on the tanks. Yeah. This is a Redemptor Dreadnought with a yep. plasma. Brother Redemptor Kefalon. Ke- there's Kefalon. And then this is Kyphon, who's a Brutalis. He's a Brutalis Dreadnought. You can check out certain plays on YouTube to see how we converted some of this stuff. He's I'm almost awesome. at 40,000 views on this video. Really? Yeah. Wow. It's my best video. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Check, check out that video. Give him a like and a thumbs up. Thank you. Um, and you're also on the Instagram, at certain yeah. plays. There's some more characters. I can see more characters. Who's this guy? So this guy is just the sword brother who leads the squad. They, so sword brothers in the Black Templars act as sergeants. Right. They don't technically have a sergeant role for the most case. They have okay. a sword brother who is in the first company who comes down and helps these guys out. Yes. That's how it works. So he's leading a crusader squad with shotguns, pyre blasters and bolters. We've got his equivalent on the left hand side doing a squad with power fists and chainsaws. And they've got the Emperor's Champion with them who is a beast in close combat. Once per phase, make damage zero against him and plus one to wound against characters. Once so per guess phase. where he's going. You'll find out shortly. Okay. <laughs> Finally. And, and these are basically scout type things. They're four up save? They're or? a weird mix. They, they, they have scout because they're so keen to fight. Yeah. They're running up and chopping stuff. And the final unit is a squad of first company Terminators because they're cool. Deep striking in potentially. Um, so you've got a lot of transports to bring your troops up the table. Yes. And some squads spilling out and around all over the place and some potential deep strikers. And then there's the push. There is a push from a Redemptor Dreadnought or Brutalis Dreadnoughts, uh, Sword Brethren, Terminators, Blake. Uh, you're coming at me, I can tell. You're coming yeah. at me. There is some long-range firepower, though. The Sakaran can fire. We've got long-range on the Land Raider. We've got long-range on that tank. Long... There is some long Normally, you don't bring any long-range. I appreciate the guns. Yeah, well, I needed something to sit back on home objective and still do something. So that is why they're here. Plus, I just this guy hasn't been on the table for so long, I needed to bring a Sakaran. A Sakaran. Well, it looks like you're bringing along weapons of war. So excited. From the Golden Age. Yes. Of the, uh, the Emperor dude. The Emperor. Shooting. Anyway, let's check out the Death Guard. Yeah. And this is bang on 3,000 points worth of Death Guard. I've brought Mortarion along and Death Guard have sticky objectives. Smelly objectives. So when we move off of it, if we control an objective in our command phase, we remain in control of that. And then they have Contagion's range and the balanced data slate came out, which is added to the Contagion's rule. So you can pick a thing on top of what it normally does. Long story short... If you're within three, six or nine inches and that range goes out as the battle goes onwards, so three in turn one, then six, then nine from turn three onwards, your toughness will be reduced by one and your armor save will be worsened by one. That's Which the is great against these tough things. That I'm picking. Great against the tough things and I like the fact that it's sort of, not only do you feel weaker, but your armor is rotting and corroding and turning to rust. Yes. Anyway, leading the charge. In Demon, Primarch, Mortarian, he has Lord of Flies, host of... De- He's got a rule, which means any Death Guard within six inches of him, um, ignore any minuses to their ballistic skill modifiers, things like... Basically, smoke screen and minuses to hit or wound don't work within six inches of him. And he has three abilities, and you pick one of them in the command phase, and the one that will be turned on all the time, unless I sell it otherwise... 
his death guard within six inches of him will be re-rolling wound rolls of one. So he's going to be chonking up the board, trying to take on some of your death guard. Chonking along with him are a unit of four Black Lord Terminators that move four, no, ten Black Lord Terminators <laughs> that move... One, two, four. <laughs> yes, that move four inches. They're quite tough, they're quite chonky, and I'm putting a Lord of Contagion in with them because he's my favourite way to run them because he gives that unit re-roll hits in close combat all the time. doesn't matter if you're charged or charged or locked up for five turns. You're just re-rolling hits with him all the time. So they're quite big. They're quite stonky. They're quite smelly. And joining them along is my demon prince, Steve. Uh, sorry, Fluffy. Fluffy. Steve Fluffy. is the wings guy, Fluffy. Uh, I've given him the only enhancement in my army. He's been given a, a deadly pathogen. He's been given rabies. And that gives him an extra strength and attack in close combat. And when there's Death Guard within Contagion range of him, they get a six up, feel no pain, so you'll need to remind me of that one because I'm definitely I'll try and remember because I just remember he has rabies and for some reason it has a six up, feel no pain. Yeah. And rabies is really scary. Yeah. So that's my forward push. Adding some firepower in the backfield. Three tanks with the entropy cannons. You don't leave home without those. I, well, they're just... They're so good. <sighs> I mean, the o the other way to add some firepower to a Death Guard list would be to bring a Defile or bring a Land Raider. Because they don't have access to Havocs, they don't have access to Gladiators, they don't have access... Mm. There's a very limited amount of units that you can bring for the Death Guard to add long-range firepower. And I don't want a Defiler or a Land you Raider or Guard any... Stuff. Exactly, yeah. any other units that are the chaos it. stuff. This is the thing. So, I've got three of these guys. Um, and three of these guys. I could bring more of these because these come in multiple units, but they're three individual units here, and they're pretty Thank good you for not doing tank. That. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, so to add a bit of long range firepower, there's two, three drones, but two of them have been given the heavy blight launchers. They're anti infantry, basically strength eight minus one or two, two damage. Nice. But it is a little, killers. a little bit of range in an army which doesn't have much range, and then spitties at the front. And then spreading out, actually trying to score me things, are all the troops and the chaos spawns. Four units of seven plague marines in each squad is two heavy plague weapons, two plasma guns and a blight launcher. Some pox walkers because, well, we've already turned some of the black templars ancillary units that we caught on the flanks. We've already turned them into pox walkers. Hey! Yes, that's already <laughs> definitely happened. That's what's happened in my head cannon. Those Cut 13th Militarum who were with us. Yeah. Who? What? Yeah. what? <laughs> <laughs> a couple of care spawn running around all over the place. They've got to feel no pain and they can recover wounds with their hideous mutations. And then I brought along a Hellbrute. I gave him a hammer, which isn't the best option because he hits on fours with that hammer. Mm. Um, but what the Nurgle Hellbrutes do is they have impact hits on the charge. And also the other thing it does. One thing, one thing. So did you know this? Like in 40k right now, there's Thousand Suns, Chaos Space Marines, Death Guard and World Eaters. And they all have Hellbrutes. Yes. And every single Hellbrute has got a different rule. It's like um, the different amount of heavy bolters you can get. Yeah. <laughs> so, Stern Guard heavy bolter, Twin Linked heavy bolter, Land Raider heavy bolter. I don't know. Like loads. Oh, Games Workshop. Depending on what flavour <laughs> of Skittle you're eating at the time, depends on how what that Skittle does. Some what of them would the will flavors be, be? Well, red, red. ones, blue <laughs> ones. <laughs> you've got blood flavour. You've yeah. got... Oh, I don't want to think what that flavour that is. Well, this yeah. one is not a very nice... No, it's like the no. sour... Apple. So anyway, uh, if he shoots something on, on the other side of the battlefield, it's considered to be in contagion range. That's why you take him. Yeah. So I can shoot a tank and then make the tank a we little. We just have to remember. Less tough. To, I'll remember that one. It's the only one. Look, have you noticed I've got multiple of everything <laughs> except for the characters and that hell group? Have you noticed I've done the same? <laughs> yeah. 3,000 points. You need to double up. Yeah. Up here, there, and everywhere. Anyway, that's. Bang on 3,000 points of Death Guard. I think that the first couple of turns of this game is going to be absolutely brutal, we'll see. But let's go and have a look at the deployment map. So, and there's only one mission that we can play in Imperial versus Chaos, and that is Purge the Foe. That's what we do. That's what the Black Templars do. And we've got Chilling Rain, which means it's not just raining right now, it's rather chilling. It is also it, raining. It is, how it works. It's the UK, it <laughs> yeah, rains. Yeah. So the rain is chilling. We've got Purge the Foe and 3,000 points, so I've picked Dawn of War. And the way this works is, at the start of your, in your command phase, you pick up 4 VP if you're on an objective, and at the end of a battle round, you pick up 4 VP if you kill something. Mm -hmm. So just hold an objective and kill something. However, if you're holding more objectives, or if you kill more, 
you'll get 8 VP. For holding more, 8 VP. It's swingy. For killing more. Yeah, exactly. It also benefits the person who goes second. So, for example, if I go first and I kill two things, I'll get a point for killing a thing. Mm -hmm. And then you know you will need to kill at least two things to stop me getting the eight points. Yeah. And if you kill three things, then you'll get the eight points for killing more. You get four points for killing one or many things, eight points for killing more. So it benefits the person who goes second, you see? Yeah, it's the... Um... Sorry, I don't know if you saw my face then. I tried to swallow and my body didn't react. <laughs> that was really strange. Definitely not um, editing that. Yeah. Whoa. But, um... Oh, Do we want cut. To cut. <laughs> Just get that tea down. Yeah, that's mm. beautiful. The power of Nurgle compels yeah, you. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting sick. Uh, did you want to say anything or you're okay? Yeah, the going you second do. strengths yes. counteracts the turn one annihilation that's going to happen. That's all I wanted to say. And then my body was like, no, die. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the battle mat is no longer available. All the scenery on the table that you see, apart from the Games Workshop stuff, is from urbanmats.com. What we've got is this little outpost here, uh, chugging, chugging, chugging up Promethean reserves from underneath the ground, and it's very critical for the Imperium. I can imagine that all across the surface of the planet. There are little outposts like this, but look at the ground. It's been turned to black tar and ruin and has drawn the attention of Mortarian and my Death Guard warband. Well, if the end of all things. It's going to be interesting, Promethean. It's these guys, right? They need to come up and literally plug the flamer in and yeah. carry on. Let's go on to deployment. And we're deployed for this 3,000 point game of Purge the Foe. The Black Templars have only put the unit of Terminators in reserve. That'll be deep striking in on the battlefield. And I put the unit of Poxwalkers in strategic reserve with a unit of plague marines. So I've got a unit, two units that can wander on later on and maybe score me some of those secondaries, such as get behind enemy lines or something like that. And Sultan put both of his dreadnoughts down this end of the battle grid rather early. So I didn't put much down this end of the battle grid because I don't want to face two dreadnoughts. There's a unit inside the Rhino. There's a couple of spawns and the spitty drone over here. Um, yeah. You pretty much got that one. In the middle, lots of things pushing forward. There's Hellbrecht is in there, and then all the flamey dudes are in there, and two more units with Hellbrecht. There's a lot of stuff that's coming forward. The middle ground is a little bit open on purpose because 3,000 points. You need to have large line of sight blocking for the flanks and things, but uh, the game will take 28 hours unless you have some kind of kill box. And the middle... It's going to be a kill box, and facing them is Mortarian, Fluffy, the 10 Blightlord Terminators, and I don't know if that's enough brick to throw into that pile of cement down no, no, there. No, no, no. We'll see what happens. There's some more Plague Marines over here. Here's the drones, and here's because you put loads of stuff on the right, I put loads of stuff on my left. So more Plague Marines, more tanks, more things, more stuff. And this one has got Grimaldus in. Grimaldus and Five Sword Brother, and then there's some Blade Guard who couldn't fit inside, hanging okay. outside. And there's the rest of your flamey dude. Of course, your objective is down there. My objective is down here, and now we need to roll a dice to see who has the initiative in this game. After you, sir. You I rolled do a not one. Have... I'm going to have to touch your dice because I just reached into my pocket to realise that I haven't got a dice oh. on me, which is criminal, I know. It's okay. a one each. Let's try again. Okay. A three. three. You've got a three, and the Death Guard have a five. five. It is Death Guard. Turn one. In Death Guard turn one, Mortarian bellows out a couple of orders. Extend battle lines and take the tempting target. With a belch of stinking fumes, the Death Guard roll into this battle grid and have completed both of their secondary objectives, which is quite nice. This is the target that I was tempted with by the Black Templars, right close to all this mess down here, and two screaming dreadnoughts. I had to advance to get all the way there. The Rhino advanced and the uh, drone advanced as well. And extend my battle lines, hold on to my home field objective and one in no man's land. I've done, I've done all the things. And then I advance forward in the middle with the Terminators as well, which is not the wisest thing to do, seeing as this land really can move 10 inches, then they disembark three, then they charge. I've essentially given up. First turn charge against the Black Templars, against Grimaldus, unless I can somehow crack open this Land Raider in turn one. And anyone who watched the Tyranid versus Black Templars games, please comment, put a thumbs up <laughs> in the comment section below if you saw that one. And what happened to the Land Raider? If you haven't seen that one, it's about five months ago. Go back and check it out. It's awesome. But we don't want a rinse and repeat of what happened there. So take 
open the Land Raider. So two tanks plus this crawler down here, plus the Hellbrook, which has got line of sight to it. So it can count as if it's in contagion range. Then I put my drones up here and looking from my drones, I can see through this gap to these guys down here, but we're counting this as one thing. So I can't see them. They're behind this ruin, this, this thing over here. The only thing that they can see with their anti-infantry guns will hopefully be some of the contents that get blown out of the Land Raider or their two wound weaponry is gonna go into three wound blade guard. Do blade guard have three wounds? They do. They do, it's gonna be here. That's the only things they can see. Then round this side, I put a few more tanks round here to take on this Land Raider. So I'm gonna start shooting here hoping that uh, Sultan is going to armor a contempt up this side and not the one in the middle because I definitely haven't said that out loud. So <laughs> let's start off with the Plague Burst Crawler firing its guns into tank and the mortar is going to come up and over into this squad here. Okay. You're doing anything? No. <laughs> okay, two entry cannons hitting on threes. Yay! And they both miss. Brilliant. The, <laughs> the mortar, D6 plus three shots That's with good. blast. Blast won't kick in though. There's only it's, four. It's a tank. No, against them. The blast oh. was going into them. This is threes to hit with the Plague Burst Mortar. Off camera. And that is five ones. Look at that. It's a Yahtzee. Off camera, I said eight is not Nurgle's number. You're going to miss at least half. Here we are. Yeah, at Nurgle least that one's are. lethal. Look. Yeah. And then these are wound on. Okay, two wounds, minus one. Four up saves then. Yep. You pop a guy. Okay, well, it's two damage. So I don't pop a the guy. The Plague Burst Mortar, oh, I used to be it's a just three, two damage. Like it was years ago. Well, I'll do the Heavy Slugger. Maybe I'll pop a guy. Possibly. These hit on threes. They all hit. And at strength five. Three's to wound. They all wound. And then minus one. Four ups. I pop a, pop a guy. Okay, brilliant. Let's do the Mephitic Blight Hauler, which is going to shoot at a Land Raider. Do you want to pop a strap? No. Do you want a smoke screen? You've got one CP? No, that's okay. Okay, here's the multi melter. One of them hits. Now, these things have plus one to wound when they shoot vehicles. So multi-melters would normally need a five. So now I'm going to get four. Mm. I'll definitely get four. I got a five. And that is AP minus three. It is a multi meld Oh, it gets through. D6 damage. See, I'd really like to CP that. <laughs> but I need my CP for hurting the other Land Raider. That is one damage. Here's the missile launcher, which hits plus one to wound, wounds. And that is a, you've got loads of cover in the way. Minus two, because yeah, that's saying, fine. Yeah, yeah that's fine, okay. you're okay, okay. <laughs> I'm so glad you did the maths. <laughs> I did the maths, the maths checked out. Right, hauler number two coming into Land Raider. Do you want a smoke screen? I'd recommend smoke cream in this. No, probably. no, if I was gonna do it, I would've. Okay, all right. <laughs> uh, Multi-melters, one of them hits, force to wound. It wounds. No cover from this angle, though, and this wall will get through. Hopefully the damage is more than a one. Has he heated up the heating coils? Three. It's a bit better. <laughs> Missile bad. launcher. Hits. Forced to wound with the plus one to wound. Doesn't wound. That's it for that thing. Let's fire the Rhino out. Rhino fired out at the Land Raider. Tickled it. No damage caused. Now we're on to the Blight launchers. Firing. Oh, one minute. They need to see if I crack open your Land Raider first. So in range of Mortarion, you don't suffer any modifiers except for saving throw modifiers. So I'm gonna start off with this tank, firing everything into that tank. I will pop smoke because it gives me a better armor save. Which is perfect. I'm hitting on threes. They both hit. These need fives to wound you though. And that is a wound. Would normally be one. Minus three. So four up save, all good. And you make it. Let's do a little bit of a stubby love. I should have shot you with the Hellbreak first. What am I doing? I don't know, you're right. Uh, nothing happened there. Here's the mortar. Oh, Ooh, the full Monty. Three's hit with a mortar and six is a lethal and there's four sixes. The rest wound on fives. Okay, that's five wounds at minus one, but plus one because of smoke screen. And oh, good. you make them all. Right, now, now I shoot you with the Hellbreak with his twin <laughs> auto cannon. Three's to hit, he hits you once. I've got a hit in order to put you in contagion range. Okay. And that doesn't wound, but now that tank is considered in contagion range. Which reduces the armor. Yes, so now it has a three up armor. So if I'd have shot this plague burst crawler at it first, have damage, I'd have done yeah. some damage, yeah. Okay, but, uh, I see the plan now. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> tank number two, firing in. It's still got smoke on. Here are the lethal hitting entropy cannons. And that is a lethal hit, and this one will wound on a five. 
and they both wound. Um, that four. is minus three becomes minus four because of the thing back to minus five up saves. Two five up saves. No, because I got three up armor. Uh, so three up armor. What's the AP on those? Yeah, minus three. Minus three. So I have a six up saves. Is it? But you've yeah, got cover. You've reduced... This is so confusing. It's so confusing. Anyway, they get through. Uh, two D six. Uh, it's D six plus one damage each. So that is a lot of damage. That's thirteen damage. It's got three wounds left. Let's drop a plague burst mortar on it, and I've got the full Monty again. And six is a lethal, and the other these need fives to wound you. Uh, so one wound, and that is a three up save because of smoke and because of the thing, and no. that is another two damage. It's on one wound remaining. Yeah. And here's the heavy slugger, stubber, thingy bob. One hit. I need a six. Doesn't wound. Okay, I found another gun. Mephitic Blight Hauler 1, 2, and 3. I remember why I ran him through this way. Just in case I didn't kill your land raider. And I haven't killed your land raider. It's on one wound, right? Yeah. Literally on one wound. Here is the multi-misses. And one of them hits, one of them misses. I need a four. That is a wound. AP minus three. Well, it's minus four normally, but it's six up save. Yes. I make it! I make it! <laughs> no. No. This'll do it. Nurgle, hit my prayer. Here's a missile launcher. Hits. I need a four. Wounds. I think you need a four or a three. Then we'll do math. That's not it. That definitely doesn't do it. It's D6 damage. It's on one wound remaining. It dies! It doesn't pop. It doesn't blow up, but there is a few dudes inside of it, and they could potentially take some mortal wounds. So auto cannon fire, melter fire, missile fire, and mortars rain down in amongst the Black Templar's central position, and their uh, land raider with the shrine with the with the statue on top has gone. Hulbrecht, he's an intelligent guy. He's old. He's been around. He's decided to take a couple of steps back and order the captain forward. And the captain's going to get lit up by the last thing left in my army that is line of sight and range. And we have heavy blight launchers. They're creating a shield wall to defend what's left. Brilliant. A blade guard. Well, she'll dodge this. You know, Neo, uh, Matrix. Contempt with the free captain stratagem. Oh, yeah, that's a good shout. Mm. Mind you, it is minus two, and you've got four up and vulnerable saves there anyway. You don't need to. Oh, does to... it not? Okay, then You yeah, can if you want to. No, but it's it waste. doesn't, doesn't it's change waste. anything. Uh, threes to hit, six is a lethal. That's not bad. And these are strength eight, minus two, two damage. So that is four wounds from the first light launcher. Four, four up saves. Make two, fail two. How much damage? Two damage each. So one guy's dead. Okay, uh, that's not enough. Let's rinse and repeat with the second one. I, was hoping I am just going to spend... Shoot over there at them. Disregard, ignore me. No. I need to check if it's battle tactic or whatever. Right. Okay, <laughs> I think Armour and Contempt is... It's not that one, contempt. it's something else. Uh, so that hits and lethal. And we have four more. Four up saves against your blade guard. Uh, fell them all. Wow. So you kill another two. The, just, the squad's gone. gone. They're no longer leading. They're separate. Who are they? Captain Lieutenant. So the Blade Guard are gone and Bastlan and Gideon stand shoulder to shoulder in front of the wreck of the dissolving Land Raider. And that is the end of Death Guard. Turn one. Potential counter charge in the middle of the battlefield. Maybe stopped. Maybe. But we have Dread Knights to the, Dreadnoughts to the right of me, Grimaldus to the left of me. At least I have scored both of my secondary objectives for 10 points. And the other thing you need to remember, Sultan, is in my turn I killed two things. One. A land they, raider. That count as yeah, they a land unit. raider and the blade guard. So they count as a unit. Yeah. Even, okay. So I'm going to get four points for killing a thing, but if, if I kill more than you, then I'll get eight. But if you kill three things, if you kill more than me, You'll get eight. That's how Purge the Foe works. As we go on to Blade Guard, turn one. Black Templars. Black Templars, turn one. That's, those are the guys. Blade Guard? Where did <laughs> that come from? High Marshal Halbrecht shouts out his orders. He also wants to extend battle lines and also put on a display of overwhelming force by killing Death Guard in range of objectives. Here we are at the end of the Black Templars movement phase, doing what Black Templars do, which is a moving forward. They're already extending their battle lines because they're holding on to a couple of objectives. An overwhelming force kills stuff in range of objectives. Well, there's a hauler here, which looks like he's going to get charged by Grimaldus. There's some blade guard around this side, looking at charging that other hauler. Here's the flamey team. And then in the middle, flaming team number two has jumped out of the impulsor right in front 
of the Blight Law, uh, Blight Law Terminators, which is danger close. I am going to overwatch them in a second with this spitty drone down here. Then you oath have momented up one of the tanks. Yeah. Because looking around my army, I don't have that much anti-tank. I've got the haulers and the crawlers and that's it. And if you can take out a couple of these tanks, then I'm going to struggle against your tanks. And you're thinking about putting on Mortarion, but he's not really in the fight yet. Maybe next turn. Maybe next turn, bring down this demon Primark. And of course, the Land Raider over there can see this tank. You've got big guns over here that can see this tank. There's Helbrecht. There's the Captain and Lieutenant running down this street along with the other Crusader squad. And two Dreadnoughts look like they're going to stand on um, some very, very squishy spawn in some minute. So we're going to start off the shooting phase with... No, we're not. At the end of the movement phase, I'm doing the Overwatch with my drone into these dudes here. For 2d6 auto hits with the Plague Spitters. For 9. It's only turn 1, so you're not in Contagion range. So these, actually they wound on 2s. They're anti-infantry 2 up. But you get a 4 up save against that, rather than one the damage. 5 up. 1 damage a time. Yeah, I'm trying to kill at least one of them. 2 and a, a half. Okay, that's, that's good for me. So after that happened, we're on to the shooting phase. The Gladiator Lancer is picking on the Oath of Moment target, my tank. Now, I could Cloud of Flies it to make it minus one to hit, but there's so many other shots that are coming into it, and because it's Oath of Moment, you're re-rolling all hits anyway, so I'll take my chances. Okay. You can just shoot me. The Melter on top can't reach it, so it's going to hit Fluffy. The Melter's <laughs> going to target my yeah. demon. Oh, yeah. poor it's Fluffy. That's all you can see. Okay. Laser Destroyer, two shots. Threes. Re-rolling for Oath. Yes. Strength of a laser destroyer. 14. Wow. Threes to wound. And I can re-roll one of these because Incom of the Lance Laser Destroyer ability. Okay. So that's that's two minus four. Minus four. Fortunately, I have a five-up demonic save. There's a demon inside that tank. And he laughs at you. Wow. Uh, two multi-melters smashing into Fluffy. One of them hits. Uh, he's toughness 10 or 11. So, so you're actually going to wound. Five. Nope. So the weapons from the first vehicle just get lost in the stink and the morass of flies clouding the Death Guard force. What about the second tank? The Land Raider is also targeting the Oath of Moment target. The heavy bot was going elsewhere. Uh, anyway, here's the last cannons. Everything's going in except the multi-melter. The multi-melter this way. So, um, okay. threes to hit. Yes. Are you rolling anything? You don't no. need to re-roll. Uh, threes to wound. Threes. Minus three becomes minus two because of hills and things. So four ups. Uh, one of them gets through. D6 plus one for four. Four damage, okay. One shot hunter killer. Three. Minus two. Boom. Hits. Hits. Strength 14. Wounds. Wounds. Minus uh, three because minus two again. That's a save. Heavy bolter hits and is sustained and wounds on. Sixes. Not Twin well. linked. No. So only four wounds off the tank. Now the multi melter goes into the hauler and hits the hauler both for the times. And Fives to wound. The toughness nine, but with ten wounds, so that oh. does wound. That four did wound, and I make the invulnerable save again. So two vehicles have unleashed into the plague burst crawl, and it's not dead. So we're going on to vehicle number three, Sakaran. So this is the auto cannon right. on threes. Okay. Rerolling. Is it sustained or anything? It's rapid fire two, but you're over twenty four away. Okay. Strength nine wounds on fives, and one wound. that's a wound. Minus one. That's a save. And then the hunter killer. Yes. Hits. hits. Wounds on a three. three. Doesn't wound. And then two las cannons on the spontoons. One of those hits. Both misses. And then wounds on a three. Wounds minus three. Five up and done. Oh, I made a six. Watch it spin. So we're on to tank number four. The impulsor is going to fire everything at the playburst crawler. At this point, he was thinking he should have spent the points on Cloud of Flies. With the re-roll, because of both of moment, both the multi hit. One wound. One of them wound. wounds. Five up and vulnerable save. I don't make it. D6. For two. two damage. It's down to six wounds remaining. Now the Bellicatus missile array. Three. Doesn't hit. Reroll. Hits on a three. Doesn't hit. And, doesn't and hit I forgot the there's an Icarus on the Gladiator. Okay, we do the Icarus as well. So D3 shots for one. Misses. Oath. Hits. Five Strength to eight. Wound. Doesn't 
Wow, so the big guns from the Black Templars have failed to bring down an Oath of Moment target. I think that's the first time I've ever seen that. Mind oh, you, I, I made, do it all the time. I made a lot of invulnerable saves. <laughs> uh, Brutalis Dreadnought is targeting what now? He's going to melt to them and Icarus the, the them and charge unit. the front. Yeah. Okay, meltering the second unit. Hits Hit. once. Okay. Uh, wounds, wounds once. Wounds one, no save, just damage. D6 plus two at this range. Come on, uh, Right, yeah, that's eight. Feel no pains. Look, there's a chance. There's a chance. There's a chance. No, he's dead. I there, know. Icarus. Iron Hell, yeah. Stubber into the other spawn. These wound on fives. Two and, minus one. Okay, some fives on this. But there's and a the sorry, twin linked as well. Four minus one. Okay, another two. Okay, I fail all the saves. Can I make up? Uh, feel no pain. Of course you can. I can. I make two of them. So one's dead. One's left on two wounds. Onto the Redemptor Dreadnought, which would love to fire down with its three damage gun and kill my Plague Burst uh, Crawler. But we got down, had a good look, and lots of line of sight blocking in the way, so he can't see past these buildings. Instead, pumping shots into the drone. Of course, he's overcooking. Yes. Because he could potentially one-shot it if you get a high number. D6 on the... plus one shots for three. That's not a high number. Uh, hits on threes. Wounds on fours. One, one wound. One wound. One Minus five four. up and vulnerable save, which I make again. Wow. Hazardous check. No. No. Then the remaining guns of the Redemptor Dreadnought, along with this Crusader squad, fired in to that spawn that was injured, wiping it out, killing the first unit for the Black Templars, leaving only one unit of spawn remaining. Now we're running out of gun. We're coming down to the middle where the Inferno squad that got overwatched. Are lighting up my Blight Lord Terminators. Here's the number of auto hits from their flamers. Ten. And the flamers will burn on fives. And I get two up saves. And I make them both. Then we rounded out the shooting phase with some small arms fire. Rattling against some vehicles. Taking a wound off this mephitic Blight Hauler down here. And that is the end of the shooting phase. We've got some charges. Yes. Uh, where are we starting? Here. It's a five inch charge. Grimaldus against the Hauler. And we that's a it. nine. He is in there. And this is an eight on this yes. flank. We make it. Okay, so both of the haulers are engaged. We've got uh, the Dreadnought. Yes. But I want to charge the Emperor's Champion Squad. So it's minus two to this charge from the closest unit. So it's five away, so it'll be seven. Okay. Because they're going down a building. They well, that's a ten. It. They're in. And then this Dreadnought just has a, a rumble. And he's in. Okay, so every charge is successful. I'm also trying to get this one right. I want the movement. Right, okay. So this dreadnought's going to try. Seven? I don't know. Maybe. Um, I don't know if he can even fit in there. We'll figure it out. Turns out the Redemptor can't squeeze through there. Uh, we do have another charge, though. Hell yeah. wrecked. Needs uh, an 11. Yeah. Try and engage the Black Lord Terminator. We'll try it, right? If yeah. he gets it, this would be crazy. <gasps> oh my gosh! So miracles do happen when you pray to the Emperor. Hellbreak makes that miracle charge. I think he might be in a lot of trouble because he's putting himself in harm's way. However, the right flank and the left flank all of a sudden look very strong for the Black Templars as we start the fight phase. First up, at the end of the charge phase, impact hits from the Brutalis into my spawn. And On a five, that's three mortal wounds. Is it? Yeah. Okay, three. Feel no pains. Um, it feels quite a bit of pain. One of them is half dead, and then the Brutalis punches. Six attacks, hitting on threes. Uh, no explosions. Okay. Strength 12. Uh, definitely wounding on twos. Twos, twin linked. Brilliant. And the AP is? Minus two. So I actually do get a six up save, which yeah. is criminal. It should be definitely better than that. I make one of them. Three damage a go. Okay, so the one on two wounds remaining is still alive on one wound remaining. And... Then he dies, and then the last one is on one wound left. So you kill one, one's on one wound, and then we do all of the things because I don't have the CP to interrupt. And there was nothing that Lone Spawn could do. You've overran the right flank and killed two units. So, so far we've both killed the same number of units. If you kill more at the end of this battle round, you're going to end up with additional points. So over here we have Blade Guard. Yes, they're choosing their reroll ones ability. Okay. Uh, rather than the saves. Okay. Uh, they have eight attacks between them, right. hitting on threes. And reroll that one. Nice. Yeah. And the six is an explosion. Okay. So remove them, put that back in. Okay. Uh, they are strength low, so five, so it'd be five to wound. Yes. Uh, they that are is three. Three wounds. I need invulnerable saves. 
I make one of them and take four damage. It's on six left. There's a Judicia there. So he has five attacks. He hits on twos. Nice. Uh, Reroll the ones because he's with Blade Guard. Yes. They all no hit. explosions. Strength eight. Because of now. his enhancement. Yep. And uh, still fives to wound. Then. Fives to wound. But sixes are good. How many? How much damage is that? Two. So that's four. Another four damage. It's down to two left, but it's still alive. While we're here, I'll do quickly do the fight backs on threes. These will wound you on twos because you're in contagion range. And you'll need invulnerable saves against them. Each of them doing one damage as he nibbles away at you. Yeah. Uh, you kill a guy. Wow. Okay. So the hauler is down to two wounds remaining, but he does have some blunch before he's going to get wiped out. From one hauler onto another hauler, which is about to be introduced to Grimaldus's Crozius. Two's to hit. With Grimaldus. And then, those, okay, those explode. Nice. That's really good. Okay. He's strength six. So five's the, to wound. The blade... Guard, sorry, the Sword Brothers is with giving plus one damage. Whoa. So this is important. So fives to wound. Okay. Uh, no wounds. Okay. And he doesn't have any bonuses to wound or anything? No. But he just does give re -roll does give hits. All the yeah. hits. Brilliant. Cool. So the Mastercrafted Power Sword on the champion with him. Yes. On twos, re-rolling. Which there's explodes. an explosion. Fives to wound. Fives to wound. Uh, three wounds, minus two. Okay. That was a thing. Three invulnerable saves. That's a three damage more. ago. Three damage ago. That's killed it. It's, yeah. it's on nine. Yeah, it's dead. It's Oof. dead. Does it blow up? It doesn't blow Oof. up. And you take down your third prize. So in this mission, you get extra points for killing more or holding more objectives. And right now, the Black Templars are over many objectives. And right now, with Grimaldus, they've killed more as well. But the killing ain't done yet. We're on to Hellwrecked, fighting a unit of ten Blight Lord Terminators. So what's going on? Because there's a couple of things that happen. So at the start of the fight phase, so technically this would happen first, but it doesn't matter because you weren't interrupting. Yes. His high martial ability kicks in for Albrecht, where he rolls mortal wounds. Right, okay. So I'll do that. Right. Anything but a one. Never That's mind. really uh, three. That's a three, which is D3 mortal wounds. Okay. For hopefully three. Three. He kills one, just yeah. like that. He just runs in and sticks his sword right through their face before they even right have a chance to react. And then what does a high marshal do? What does he... So he adds one to the strength of the melee weapons around him. Okay. And fives and sixes explode. Brilliant. One minute, I got Fluffy. He gives me a six up, feel no pain to infantry within contagion. No, you still killed that dude. Albrecht has six attacks. <laughs> Albrecht has six attacks. Yes. He hits on twos, fives and sixes explode. These okay. are now four damage. Okay. So he hits on twos. Okay. No uh, one explosion. A, you don't need four damage. I've got three. No, but each, it so. just happens to be his. Oh, thing. for the feel no pain, it will kick in. Yeah. Oops. Strength. Strength is now nine. Brilliant. Three to wound. He wounds five, six times. Minus three. 120 points for this guy. Four up and vulnerable saves. Okay. So that is four damage. To four different plague blight lord things, right? Yeah. The first one, six up, feel no pain, dead. The second one, dead. The third one, dead. The fourth one, dead. So before we've gone on to anyone else, Halbrecht has killed five blight lord terminators on his own. What a G. Now on to the sword brethren. Here's the yep. castellan with the mastercrafted power weapon. Twos, five and sixes explode. Okay. So there's an explosion. Yes. He's now strength six. So, so four's four's to wound. To wound. Uh, those are two wounds at minus two. Okay. Four up and buns. Three damage ago. Really? Because of the damage thing. Yeah. Because of the hell wrecked. Yeah. Six up, feel no pain. He kills another. Six up, feel no pain. Uh, he one's, lives. One, one's alive. He lives. One finally manages to make it. So we'll go to the, the regular. Pa we'll go to the lightning claws. Okay. So he hits on threes. Yes. Twin uh, twin link doesn't matter here, but, but five, those two, six all explode. explode. Nice. Because he doesn't hit on twos. Strength five goes to strength six. So, so fours, twin linked. Yes. Everything wounds. Six at minus two, th two damage. So two damage? Because of the sword brethren ability. Uh, four up and vulnerable save. So four get through. One was on one wound. Two damage a time. So the one guy who's on one wound, he's dead. And then of this There's lot, I can do I can do these together. Another one's dead. That's two dead. And then the last guy is one, one wound. Two. Here's all the power weapon attacks from the other dude. I forgot the explosions last time. Um, oh no, I didn't. No, I lied didn't. to you. Five and sixes explode. Yeah, thank you. These are now spent six power weapons. So fours 
and these are now damage two yes. power weapons because of Halbrek things. Yeah. Four up and vulnerable saves. Okay, I made some this time. Yes. Right. One's on two wounds, right? One's on two wounds. Six up, feel no pain because of Fluffy. He's dead. Now I've got one last Blight Lord Terminator. And he's, he's alive. alive on one wound. And we're down to my Lord of Contagion and one Blight Lord Terminator remain. And this was just five guys yeah, with Albrecht. Have to go. Okay, brilliant. Sorry. There's more coming. On fours, though, you'll be right. pleased to know. I'm pleased. So that explodes. He gets two hits. Okay. Uh, strength nine. Three threes. threes. One wound minus... I'm going to command point that because it's devastating wounds and really? I want to do some damage. Yeah. Okay. It not worth it. I, I might as well spend the, the Emperor prayer. did not hear your prayer. I'm going to make this four up and vulnerable save. Yes, you are. No, no I'm three not. Damage. It's yeah. He's and the last flail of corruption. He's he's dead. Um, Beautiful. You just ran through ten Blight Lord Terminators. I am pleasantly surprised. You're unpleasantly surprised because we both said Helbrecht's now going to die. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's put himself in harm's way. He's definitely going to die. Uh, he's going to hurt some of these guys, but they're. Look, I like it when 40k things do 40k things. And that was very awesome. Very 40k. What a swingy turn one. Well, I have a fight. I have a fight back. You do. With my Lord of Contagion. He's going to he's gonna hit you. Uh, so while this model is leading a unit, he can re-roll all hits. Yeah. He's not leading a unit anymore. You killed Wouldn't it. Wouldn't that count at the end of the phase, though? It's still the fight phase. Um, so I, he's technically... At this, because this all happens at a similar time. I don't know. I would happen? say he's still leading this phase and then the start of the next I, phase. I think the thing is, I'm going to hit you on twos anyway and I won't need to, okay. I won't, won't need see to check. Ones. See, okay, I'm fine, fine yeah. but please let me know in the comment section whether now he's no longer leading a unit, whether it counts or not. Yeah. Anyway, he hits all the times. That one's lethal. He is strength eight. You are toughness three because of contagion range. So he does wound four times and it is minus two. It comes minus three because of contagions. How much damage? Three damage So you'll high. kill a guy every time I fail one of these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So six up saves. He is my Lord of Contagion. He uh, does take out four of them. I should have um, saved nice. the command point. <laughs> so that's the end of the fight phase. We're all locked up in the middle. And that is the end of turn one. And what a turn one. I pick up ten points for my secondaries. But you've definitely extended your battle lines. And killed more than two units. Or two or more units in range. Of objectives for overwhelming force so both the black templars and the death guard pick up 10 points each on their secondaries then at the end of each battle round we both get four points for killing a thing but you get eight points because you killed more things you killed I, four things and don't i hold more objectives than you know well then in my command phase i'm going to get four points for holding oh, an objective yeah. And then if I yeah. hold more objectives than you in turn two yeah. i'll get eight yeah. and right now i'm on one one. <laughs> <laughs> so I need to do something about pushing you off at some objectives so you don't rack up eight points at the start of your turn. To be fair, that was some gloriousness, but I've got a unit of Plague Marines in here who can do some damage. There's Mortarian here who can jump up and over. Uh, mind you, the Dreadnoughts over this right flank are looking really strong. As we're going to... Up, sorry. Bless you. <laughs> De De May the power of Nurgle compel you. <laughs> Death our turn two. So at the end of turn one, it was 14, 18. At the start of turn two, it's 18 each when I pick up those four points for my primary. It's a dead draw. And the Death Guard want to deploy a teleport homer either in the Black Templar's lines or in the middle of the battle grid and assassinate Halbrecht. So turn one was absolutely brutal and turn two is going to be absolutely brutal in this battle as well. That's what happens when you play at 3,000 points and down in the center, down in the maelstrom of death, Mortarion is staying back. I have got Assassinate in my hand. I have to kill Halbrecht and much as I'd like to jump Mortarion up and over and send him into Halbrecht, he doesn't even know who he is. <laughs> You've only been alive for 500 years. I've been alive for 10,000. Fluffy... You deal with him. It's Fluffy kill that child. Kill that child. And Fluffy's got rabies, remember, with his extra attack. So he's going to go, go, <laughs> go flying in there. And there's going to be a lot of brutality happening in the middle as well, because I've got this unit of Plague Marines. I've got my tanks. I've got all of this. A lot of firepower down. Hopefully completely clear the middle of the battle grid. The tanks I'll deal with later, I think. And the reason why I've turned this hauler around 
is because he's deploying a teleport homer. That way I remember not to shoot him. I'd love to shoot him at the tank, but uh, I need the points. Points make prizes. Deploy a teleport homer. I've still got a unit. Is he deploying it or just scranning it? He's, he's dropped one out, you know, like <laughs> like dunk, like a mine out of his back passage. Yeah, I bet. Like, it's yeah, a very sorry, yeah, you've got more tiring coming up in the back. Smelly. Him, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> He needs to scoop that up in a minute, yeah. I've still got some Plague Marines and some Poxwalkers wandering the edges of the battlefield in strategic ready to come in later, so that teleport home and that smell might draw them to the battle grid. Over here, on this flank, I've honestly got nothing that can deal with all this hate, so the best thing I can do is put a drone in the way and slow you up for at least one turn. Block it up. And then I thought about getting the second unit of Plague Marines outside of that Rhino, and I could have thrown some firepower that way, or that way, or that However, it's only turn two, there's a long way to go, that's got some mobility, that's got some troops in, I'd like to start... It's problems, there's problems for you right there. Mm. Across on the other flank, however, things are looking pretty good for the Death Guard, so the middle's going to be brutal, and down here is going to be absolutely brutal as well. This hauler... Pull back out of combat, otherwise you'll kill him in my turn. And then you've got a decision to make to come forward with the Judicia and the last of the Blade Guard veterans down into my lines. Or turn around and deal with a multi-melter, a mephitic blight hauler, which is really close to your land raider. I know what I would do. Mm. And then this rhino discard, disgorged its Plague Marines before it moved around here. Which means I can charge and shoot and yeah. do all the things into Grimaldus's unit. And there is a Dreadnought. That is going to follow up that charge as well. So let's start here. Let's shoot everything down into Grimaldus' unit. Starting off with the giant tank of doom. Entropy cannons. Never mind. Both of them miss. <laughs> D6 plus 3, which becomes D6 plus 4 because of blast. Useful. From the mortar. Hitting on threes, I can see them. One of them is lethal. These wound on... Uh, threes that all wounds and these are four up saves because of cover and contagion and things and uh, two, two, two so damage dies, a time right? yeah. yeah then we'll do the stubber slugger and the small arms were very small didn't do any wounds uh, now we're doing the auto cannon in uh, one of them hits and at strength nine it oh, wounds yeah. minus one well five up save though because of contagions no, and that's three flat, damage three damage that kills another one now let's unload with the Plague Marines. Here's the Blight Launcher, which hits and auto wounds. Minus one becomes a five up save Make because it. of contagions. Let's overcook both of the plasmas. The plasma on the sergeant and the plasma on the other gun. These will wound on twos. And because of contagions and things, no saves against that. Just nuking another one. Hazardous check. Here's the Sarge. Here's the other guy. We're yeah. okay. We're okay. And then we have lots of bubotic bolters, which are just like normal bolters, only six is a lethal. Mm. Uh, these are wound on threes, though, because of contagions. Nice. And your armor is currently for four up, one damage a time. You kill Ooh. one, two, that's the squad, and you kill on a Cenobite. So really? You kill the squad, yeah. So it's Jess Grimaldus who's going to face the charge of the Plague Marines. That was, that was good. I could have hoped for better. From one flank, let's descend down into the other flank and let's spit on this uh, neophyte squad with my plague things for five auto hits, which will wound on twos, and you need five up saves because of contagions and things. Five some saves. Okay. Uh, you kill how many? Just two. two. And I think that's all that's going to rattle into that unit. We're definitely not going to charge them. Uh, on to tanks in the middle. The plan is to get rid of your fast transport. So we're going to start off with this Plague Burst Crawler. I'm actually going to put the Mortar onto the Flamer guys and all the other guns into tank. Mm -hmm. uh, you have got a CP and you haven't uh, Armour of Contempted yet. Are you I'm waiting not, for I'm other not. things? I'm waiting for some, maybe something fun, I don't know. Okay, Entropy Cannons, one of them hits. And Strength 10? Uh, yeah. And with Contagions, that wounds. And at AP minus 3, and your armour is now a 4 up. You don't get a save. No. So it's D6 plus 1 damage for 5 damage. And then the mortar fires up and over and has 5 shots. Which hit on 3s and one of them's lethal. And wound on 2s. So we're going to do 3 of them first yeah. for 5 up saves. And Make 1. Okay, and then 1 more, the last one. You've killed the squad. Okay. It's just the 
lad now. Just the guy with the banner. Yep. Right, let's rinse and repeat with the second one. Am I literally going to put the mortar on that guy with a banner? Yes, yes, let's do that. And two entropy cannons into the tank. Hitting on threes, they both hit. And if I wound, remember, no saves. I wound once, d6 plus one damage. Four more damage. And then the mortar onto the guy with the big flag. And he's going to get hit nine times. Which, hit him on threes. And wound him on twos. Five up saves. But he and halves all one. damage, right? So these are all one damage. And he has a four up feel no pain while he's in the centre of the battlefield. Really? Nice. He's an ancient. With his big banner flapping And he around. shrugs three of them. So he he's taken one damage. He just got hit by a mortar. Dead bang. And then he takes one damage. I don't know what dead bang means, but it's a word now. <laughs> So he's on three wounds remaining, the stubber came in and just tickled him, no further damage. So we're onto this unit of seven plague marines, firing in at him. I need to get rid of him. Here is the blight launcher. One of them hits and is lethal. This other one wounds. Again, two five up saves on him. And that would be two damage, which becomes one damage. No, it it doesn't shrug that. And then we have loads of bubotic bolt guns firing in on threes. Six is a lethal because they're bubotic, you see. I don't know why the explosive rounds for some reason. Or anyway, it does what it does. And that is four more wounds. Four more four, four up ups. saves. I make make three of them. And then I have a four up shrug. Makes it. He's alive on two wounds remaining. I'm not in rapid fire range with the plasma. No point in overcooking because you half all damage. And that's another wound. Another six up save. Well, uh, not overcooking, so yeah. yeah. No, and then a four up shrug. No. He's Six alive on damage. one wound. <laughs> He's holding the chapter banner high. I think Fluffy has got a plague sprayer. D6 auto hits for one, which wounds him, and a four. No, and then a four. No. And He's the dead. banner finally falls. Okay, that's it for most of my shooting phase, except for the heavy blight launchers. Now, I'd like to shoot Grimaldus, but I can't, so it looks like I'm going to have to charge him. Do I? And shooting it out onto the flank to keep that hauler alive is definitely, probably my better option. But I wanted to get rid of your transport. <laughs> well, you don't so have to shoot them both at the same time, do you? I'm gonna, well, I'm going to shoot your transport with one of them, see what happens. Yeah, and then shoot the other guys. Uh, threes to hit with the heavy blight launchers. At least six is a lethal, because these other ones will wound on fives. Okay, so two wounds at minus two. So six up saves. Yeah. I fail on both, it's dead. I kill it. And it does not blow up. It just melts into acidic sludge. And it looks like I'm clearing away the centre of the battle grid. Okay, so second, the Blight Launcher. Down into these units over here. Into your Judicia. And the Blade Guard on the flank. That is four hits, one of them being lethal. And three wounds. So first guy on blade guard, four up shrug, uh, saves, yeah, and then takes two damage. Okay. So there were a couple more bits of small arms that fired out against the Black Templars, but no further damage caused. And at the end of that shooting attack, I've wiped out four units, trying to push this line back and back and back. And now we have some charges. First up, Fluffy will charge Grimaldus, not Grimaldus. Helbrecht. Helbrecht. Over here. This unit of Plague Marines are going to charge Grimaldus. And that's an eight. That's good, because I want to get them around that way so the Hellbrook can join in by going straight up the gut. And he'll fail the charge unless the CP re-roll it. So let's CP re-roll it, because I want the movement. He'll make it in there. So the Hellbrook and the Plague Marines engage Grimaldus. At the end of the charge phase, the Death Guard Hellbrook does impact hits on a two up. And this will be D3 Wounds, and that is three wounds on Grimaldus. Five up shrug. He makes none of them, so you kill the two servitors and he has three wounds left. Then the Hellbrook raises his great big hammer. He hits on fours and he only hits once. But it is strength 14. And he doesn't even wound. We don't have the CP to interrupt. So we're going on to the Plague Marines. There are two heavy plague weapons in each squad which hit on fours. And one of them hits and one of them's lethal. Rap and bun. Makes it. Okay. And the remaining dudes try and shank him in the back with their plague knives. Threes to hit. Six is a lethal. Wounding on threes. No AP, but Grimaldus' armour has dropped by one. Fours. I fail a ton of them. Six. He has yes. five up shrugs. Okay. He's one damage each. Yes. 
Uh, he makes three, but he only has three wounds left, so he's dead. That's just enough to take him down. And that is assassinate. But that was my secondary target. I've taken that objective off you as well. The primary target, of course, was High Marshal Hellrecht, who can do some mortal wounds at the start of the fight phase before anything yeah. else kicks off. He's picking the Lord of Contagion because he can pick anyone he's engagement with and his unit is engaged. With the Lord of Contagion? Yeah. I like it. Okay. So, roll a dice. One. Never mind. Nothing happens. No. I like to think that Fluffy blocked that blow. Then he lists his Hellforge sword in strike mode. He strikes on twos and everything hits. And this is strength really high. He wounds on... Oh, never mind. He's wounding on twos. They all wound. halbrecht has got a little bit of four up and vulnerable saves to make. Each doing three damage. He's dead. And the High Marshal has been taken out. And Fluffy did enough not only to kill Helbrecht, but to kill the last of the Saw Brethren that was with him. And so the Death Guard take the centre of the battle grid. And that's the end of Death Guard turn two. We've picked up our five points for Assassinate. We've also picked up three points for deploying a Teleport Homer, a blinky smelly mine in the middle of the battle grid. But more importantly as well, the Black Templars were on four out of five of the objectives. But now they're only on one, two... And the Death Guard are on more. So at the start of the Black Templar's turn, they'll pick up four points for being on an objective, at least one objective, but not more than the opponent. And while this flank is largely untouched, the Black Templars are quite strong over here, but they've lost the centre. And then down here it is anyone's game as we go into Black Templar's turn two. So it's 26 points to 22 in favour of the Death Guard. They're four points in the lead. It's still very close. And the Black Templars want to bring it down, take out some of those vehicles that the Death Guard have. And that can max out at eight points. There's a lot of points to be had with bring it down. And also assassinate. Take down Fluffy or my Lord of Contagion stood in the open in the middle of the battle grid. So the Terminators have arrived to the party. They've deep struck down in the middle. The Maelstrom of Death in the centre of the battle grid because there's a couple of characters here. That you really want to assassinate. And talking about assassinating things, what's your oath of moment target? Fluffy. Why? Because I was really struggling to make a decision, and then I just had to remember who laid Helbrecht low, what would the Black Templars do, kill the thing that killed Helbrecht. I love you a little bit right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's Fluffy must die. The Emperor <laughs> must die. Then there's lots of vehicles for you to bring it down. Over here I did a stunning job of uh, blocking up the move. Well, that's a vehicle I want to kill. Yeah, as the drone isn't here long for this world. Yeah. There is a, a vehicle there with seven Plague Marines in, but there's your sergeant, your captain lieutenant. Yeah, they, they might be going charges. this way into not Golos. And we then, uh, yeah, I've got a... I could kill a hauler. I could kill a thing. I could kill another thing. If I kill a tank and a, pl a drone and a hauler, yes. I'd probably be happy with that pointage. Okay, so do you know where you want to start in the shooting phase? The, um, yeah, yeah, the Lancer <laughs> shooting <a> Fluffy. <laughs> the Lancer's going to yeah. shoot a Fluffy. Yeah. Uh, well, it is Fluffy. So I am going to spend a CP on Cloud of Flies to make him minus one to hit, even though so you're both... So I say it's still, oh. so I go back to threes. Okay, back to threes. Right, okay. So twos to threes. Uh, with the re-roll for Oath of Moment... Hit and only one hit. Strength 14. Toughness 11. Threes. Minus four. Demon save. Demon save. I think it's a four. That's not a four. Do I want to... How much damage is it? D6 plus three. Is it? It's not going to kill him. He's going to be fine. For five. He's half dead. I'm going to command point that. For better than what I had. Seven. Seven. <laughs> He's got three wounds left. Melter yes, okay. So on fours because of the minuses. Cloud of flies, and yeah. And then reroll because of both. Right, three One. wounds to get through. Um, Fives so, to wound. Yeah. Doesn't um, wound. With Aquila and Optics, you get to reroll a wound roll. Yeah, so I need a five. After all that, no. 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 Then we did the Icarus and the guns, the Storm Bolters, into Fluffy from the Gladiator. And Fluffy's still on three wounds remaining. Where are we going to next, Sultan? The whole Land Raiders firing at him. What, everything? Yeah. You're not going to split fire into some of the vehicles or anything? No. No, everything into Fluffy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, fours then. Las Cannons. The Las Cannons. Uh, here's the reroll. Oath. No. Three hit. Threes to wound. Strength 9, toughness 11. It's strength 12, last Cannons. Toughness oh, strength 11. 12, sorry, yeah. I'm thinking 9th. Yeah. yeah. Three you wounds. Wound. Brilliant. Um, four up and vulnerable saves. Give me a favour. <laughs> I haven't done a CP re-roll yet. Mm. I 
I'll take a day off, mate. I'm going to do a CP re-roll. I've only got one CP left over there. Let's keep Fluffy alive. I like him. He's hey, not well, alive. D6, D6 plus, plus one. one. Three wounds to get through. I have a command point to re-roll this if I want to, because I haven't done it. Yes! Seven! Okay. He's dead. You Does take... he not have his own six up shot? No, no, no. He gives it to infantry. You've taken out oh, the Oath of Moment assassinate. target and assassinated the Slayer of Hellbrecht. You can recover his corpse now. Not his corpse. He's a casualty. You can pick him up a bit later. I like to think, yeah, the Laz Cannon cored Fluffy, but the reason he's died is Hellbrecht shoved the sword through its throat and it banged back into the wall. No, no, no. I like to think that he tried to shove the sword through his throat, but uh, he couldn't because Fluffy is gnawing on his leg. Well, I have an everything-proof shield. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've got an Uno reverse card. Oh. <laughs> All right, tank number three. Firing at this injured tank over here. What are you measuring? To see if you were 24 away. Am I not? You're 20... Just 24 and a half. Brilliant. So it's not rapid fire. So it's not rapid fire. Six shots though. Six shots with the auto cannon. Yeah. Chunker, chunker, chunker. On threes. Okay, we have five hits. With a reroll. Why a reroll? Because it's, um, it's you're on an objective and Sakaran's reroll. Okay, yeah. nice. Uh, fives to wound though. Glad for challenging. I, there was a reason yeah, I'd yeah. forgotten it. Fives yeah. to wound, yeah. No cover in the way around. Two and minus one. So two, threat saves. It's uh, dead. It's six damage? Three damage a go, yeah. It's dead? Yeah. Okay, and it doesn't blow up, you bring get down. down. Your first bring it down target. Talking of Brutal, we have a Brutalis firing everything point blank at the drone that's buzzing right in front of it. Melt and hats. both of the melters hit. Fives though. Uh, no toughness nine, so yeah. fours. Fours wound. One wound, minus four. Invulnerable save. save. No. D6 plus two this range, but you have ten wounds. Uh, Eight. Now I've got two wounds left. Yay. That was that was a lot of damage. <laughs> the Icarus Iron Hail on top. Okay. Uh, there's no hits. And then uh, sixes, I believe. I think it's fours because it's anti-fly four up. And I make the save I anyway. need to see if it's twin linked. One minute. One of the multi-melters is twin linked. So you get to re-roll nope. that wound and doesn't wound. I'm and glad the, we caught it. Yeah, because I was looking up to see if this was. And it also is. So I need okay. four up anti-fly. For another one at minus one. Okay. Um, You're good. I make that save as well. So the squad right in front are going to fire everything at him. Yes. And here are all the wounds that came through, which are three up saves. Uh, oh, it's dead already. Ooh. The drone's dead already. And that one blows up. Oh. And I think it only does one mortal wound. So not so much as a kaboom as a splat and acidic pus splashes out and injures my rhino as well. Mm. Right, Redemptor Dreadnought, you're yes. overcooking macroplasma. Into the thing. The hauler over here. You've killed two vehicles so yeah. far. And then the Icarus is going into that too. Right. And because he's got so many guns. All the small arms are gonna go into this guy because there's all oh, uh, you choose. Um not Polus. Yeah. Him then. Polus brother Damn. of Gollus cool. into these guys. Okay, overcooking macroplasma. D6 plus one. It's six shots. Threes then. Yes. Uh, that is four hits. Strength nine versus toughness nine. Fours for three at uh, minus four. Demonic saves. You know when I was saving every single roll last turn? That's nine down. I'm not doing it this <laughs> turn. It's on one wound remaining. Hazardous check? Does it overcook a coil? No. No, that's a six. You're good. Icarus pod. Icar D3. Yes. Two. On threes. One hit. Fives to wound. Uh, come on now. He's like that. That's a wound. <laughs> I did actually. That was pretty good. Yeah. Four up save or death. He it's alive. Life. It's on one wound remaining. And then we're going to do some small arms into plague marines right in front of it. Okay, so the small arms didn't hurt the plague marines. We're now on to the captain who got wiped out from his unit. In turn one, out of that land raider, he's going to try and trick shot that hauler in the back. Yeah, it's a um, heavy bolt pistol. Okay. <laughs> uh, he's modelled with a plasma, but because he's a blade guard captain, they don't take those. Why not? I don't know. Why can't he just get a, a plasma out of the armoury and pick it up? Because yeah? he's not... Uh, okay. He hits. hits. Doesn't wound. Doesn't wound. The lieutenant. Lieutenant has a go. Hits. Hits. Wounds. The Minus one. Is yeah. it? Okay. Uh, four up? You're getting slow. <laughs> Kill that vehicle, <laughs> shoot it. The mine that it pooped out last turn, he shot the mine like out of Call of yeah. Duty and it's boom. And it's flipped the tank who does boom! blow up. <laughs> and put a wound on Polis. You know that these two are having some banter now. You're getting slow, Captain. Yeah, yeah. You missed that shot. Let me show you how it's done. Why have they got American accents? I don't know. They don't. 
Then we move from the centre out onto this flank where shots came into these plate rings, killing two of them, injuring another shot, bouncing off that mephitic blight hauler as well. These Black Templars just eyeing up these Plague Marines, ready for a charge. And then the last thing left to fire is back down in the centre. The Terminator's deep struck into the battle grid this turn. And now they want to kill my Lord of Contagion Death by firing squad. Yes. So, Assault Cannon. Yeah, we'll see if we can do it this way, because it seems more honourable, right? Yeah, yeah. Shoot, assault Cannon. Shooting <laughs> full of holes. As yeah. opposed to Storm Bolter, on threes. Okay. Uh... No sustained hits here because there's no librarian because they don't believe in them. No, librarians are so good with terminators. Yeah, strength six, toughness, toughness six, six, right? So fours, but sixes are a sting in the tail. Only two AP dash. So no devastating wounds there, which assault cannons can do. He okay. He's got a two up save. He's in terminator plate. We've got and storm we've got lots of storm bolters. Okay, sixteen storm bolt shots. We get them all off camera. Here are the saves. I take a wound. He's down to four wounds remaining. That is the end of the shooting phase. Now we're on to the charge phase. Your captain wants to charge Gollus. Yes. It is a seven inch charge. He... And he fails Ooh. the charge. The lieutenant who stood near him, or you can see... I'm going to command real... point it, yeah. I want my captain to be... You want your captain? He's, he's just been up, shown up by the lieutenant. Okay. You can't have that happen again, can okay. No. He fails the charge. Well, the lieutenant stood next to him, and it's a seven inch charge for him as well. He's <laughs> showing him up again. <laughs> lieutenant taking all the glory. Nine inch charge for the Terminators. To get in there, yes, yeah, yeah, I want the yeah, movement more yeah. than anything here. They're not that interested either. So here's the lieutenant after the charge. Over here, the Judicia and the last of the blade guards hit that hauler on two wounds left. This is only a five inch charge with these guys into the plague marines on this flank, and that's they're a in. seven Nurgle's number. And uh, so the they're gonna go flying in those, right? Okay, he's a bit mad, yes, um, because even though he called Fluffy, he's still not particularly pleased, he's gonna try and charge Polos. Right, you want to run him over with tank shock is a thing. Tank shock is definitely a thing. And he's a Black Templar, so if you're going to use anything <laughs> to use melee, it's your tank. Have you seen that meme, drive forward so I can hit them with my sword? Yeah, That's I have it. no idea how far this is. Okay. But he wants to hit them with the sword. Okay. That might be enough, might I have enough. no idea. <laughs> it looks like you're like nine or something. Dude, that's definitely enough. <laughs> You're definitely in there. <laughs> so silly. Uh, around here, yeah, there is we... a rhino with seven plague marines in it. I want to run this guy, these guys round. Okay. See how far they go. Right. If they get a big one, I might be able to get the Brutalis in. <laughs> you said big one. Mm -hmm. uh, that's eight. not the biggest. So you we'll can see. also come around that way as well. So long Let's as they, see how they go end in up then. in coherency at the end. Right, after the charge, it looks like this. The Brutalis definitely can't fit in there. I've spent all my CP... I can't pay to interrupt. So we're back onto the fight phase, a la the Black Templars phase. Because <laughs> yeah. we're charging a rhino. We're charging Gollus with a land raider. We're charging over here. We're going to open up with a land raider, doing tank shock into yeah. Gollus. Give me flashbacks to Ispan 3, that bit where Khan gets impaled on yeah, the Logan front. Yeah, Logan sees it go by. Like, what? Yeah. <laughs> The captain failed the charge and he radioed to the to the tank driver and the lieutenant's going, what are you doing? Don't let Gideon get the kill. <laughs> <laughs> Fives. Uh, okay. Two. He's down to two wounds remaining. So we're on to Gideon, this lieutenant. Has he... Oh, no, you can keep going with the Land Raider as well. well yeah, we'll see if the narratively the Land Raider does it, right? Yeah, but he's going to be hitting on fours with his six attacks. Six attacks, thank you. I'm glad you know all this. Uh, it's a Land Raider. Right, on fours then. And sixes explode. Yes, they do. So, <laughs> Somehow uh, they're better at hitting. Yeah. Right, threes to wound. Uh, not so good in the wounds, but three. Three. AP dash, right? Three AP dash. I think it's two damage, though. Um, I make all my saves. It is Terminator plate. He just stands there. He takes it. Now Gideon. Gideon has to try and take him out in close combat. Uh, the thing is, in close combat, whenever Lords of Contagion loses wounds... Yeah. You roll a dice and on a four up he does mortal wounds back again, like acid and pus and thing stuff. That hurt him. Well, it can be any it's gotta be a four plus, but right. it's gotta be anything in contagion range. I could have put it on your left well, hand. Well that means he won't die now, because if you'd got everything, you might have been you might he's only got four wounds, so yeah. he might have been injured. Yeah. Right, we've got five attacks with a mastercrafted power. Okay. He hits on twos. Okay. Those explode. So he hits seven times with five attacks. He's what a he's, jig. he's got two edges on his sword, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, strength five though. Five still wound. So, uh, yeah, five still wound. Thank you. Two at minus two. Two. Anyone that gets through. Because it does two damage. Yeah. Two four up and vulnerable saves. No CP for a reroll. 
and the lieutenant takes down my lord of contagion you know what it'd be juicy if he could consolidate and jump into the vehicle but that's yeah. not a thing uh it is the thing in heresy which is cool but not in this um yeah so you've taken the battlefield you've taken me off that central objective we're now coming all the way over here back to the judas here hitting the hollow one more time yeah uh he's gonna help twos rerun and ones yes sixes explode there's a couple of ones Still a couple of ones. ones. Yeah. yeah. Fives to wounds. Strength eight. So fives to wounds, yeah. But sixes are devastating. Nothing. Minus two. Five up and vulnerable safe. It might be more than that. It's a minus bail. four. Yeah. Well, it's a dead drone. Yeah. Which that one doesn't blow up. I was still working out my, what my sword does when it is. <laughs> now, interestingly enough, you've definitely maxed out your bring it down. Yeah. Your maximum eight points killed very many vehicles. But you've also killed six units. Yeah. I killed seven. It's a bloodbath. <laughs> If you kill one more unit, you stop me getting the extra points. I'd like if, that. If you kill two units, you get the extra points for killing I'd like more. I'd that too. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to go to the Primaris Crusader squad. This is not a combat squad. They are a shooty squad. What are they doing in close combat then? They're Black Templars. Okay, it's fair enough. weight of attacks at this point. Fair enough. So oh, yeah. we're going to have Six explode. Yeah. Yeah. Pouring so it on. We'll start with the Sword Brother. He's got a power weapon with three attacks and he's hitting on threes and we're looking for those sixes. There's no sixes. He needs fives to wound? Strength five. Okay, four to wound. wound. Uh, one wound, minus two. Uh, five up Once save. One is injured. And That's he's good. still alive. And we've got a lot of attacks. Threes to hit. Look at those sixes. There's quite a few sixes. Yeah. Funts to wound. That was a bit of German. Oh, sure. that was... This isn't as good. Is that only three wounds? It's what happens. The hitting was good, the wounding not so good. Yeah. I have three up saves. The injured fella dies, however, I'm and one more. <laughs> so that unit is still locked up, and we're still at seven units to six killed. But we've got the Emperor's Champion and this squad over here smacking on the side of a rhino. So six attacks, hitting on twos. This is his big swing, right? Yes. Okay. This is strength eight. Toughness nine. So fives. Uh, three at minus three. Okay. Three, three damage. Three six up saves. Oh, wow. Well done. It, it takes, takes three damage. Three damage. It's still on six remaining. This rhino might survive. This is a close combat squad. Or maybe not. This squad's got close combat weapons. There's power fists here. On threes. No sixes. No sixes. On fives at strength eight. One minus two. Two damage. Further save, it's on four wounds. And there's chainsaws and things Power in there. Power weapon massage. Power okay, right, yeah. Um, uh, nope. One hit. On five. Wounds, minus two. One damage. One damage, it's on three wounds remaining. And, and then, then a ton of chainsaws. You, okay. All right, rev those chainsaws. Threes and sixes. Yeah. And then wounded on sixes. Come on now, three wounds to get through. And uh, that is three sixes. Yeah. They're minus one. So I'm saying there's a chance. There is definitely a chance. Four up saves. You're good. It's on one wound remaining. So just one wound away from stopping the death guard from picking up those extra four points for killing more. They've definitely killed more. I reversed with the rhino. Didn't hurt any of the dudes. But we're coming back here to the plague marines. Hitting this neophyte squad. And I kept, obviously, both of my heavy plague weapons in that squad. So they are going to hit on fours. They're a Crusader squad. And Crusader squad, and wound on twos, and that is minus two, but your armour has been dropped by one, so I think I kill three of them. And then stab one with a plague knife, twice, and don't wound. Okay, so you kill two of me, I kill two of you. You killed the children. There's still three plague marines there holding up that squad, but more importantly, you've taken me off this objective and this objective, and this objective, so while I've killed more, I'm not going to be getting extra points for holding more as we go on to Death Guard turn three. However, you've maxed out, bring it down, and you've definitely assassinated. Fluffy is gone. Vengeance for Halrecht as we go on to Death Guard turn three. So at the start of turn three, we added up all the things, and there is one point in it. It's 38 for the Death Guard, 39. For the Black Templars, the enemy are winning by one point. And orders come through to cleanse objectives, which would def that's no, we're not doing that. But secure no man's land, take any two objectives in no man's land, we can do that because we don't bring soap or cleaning products with us, so no cleansing. And so down in the maelstrom of death in the middle of the battle grid, the plot thickens. This lieutenant, what's his name again? 
Gideon. Gideon. He killed Gollus. Yes. And now he's standing with his sword raised, staring down a demon Primarch. Yes. But I don't think he's going to get to use his sword, because the plan here is to gun him down. Well, you'll notice his shield's on his back, so he's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Not one backward step. Yes. I left the Rhino in close combat with Black Templars over here because you do have a CP thing which stops units falling back. Yeah, on a three up, I would have stopped because of my vow. I'd have stopped you falling back, which I was absolutely going to spend if you did that. And then if you pass that, um, and I rolled a one two, whatever, you still have to make a desperate escape. Yes. So the Rhino on one wound, which didn't recover its wound, staying there, Mm -hmm. and he, the Rhino is going to get rescued by these guys. They're going to go charging in, hurt them, and the unit from the Rhino got out. And I'm now seeing you off of that objective, so you're on three out of five of the objectives. Yeah. I need to get you down to two out of five, so you're not controlling more than me at the start of your turn and get those extra points. So down here, plan is hurt them a bit, kill him, kill Land Raider. I've got one tank left to do it around here. That's a lot of pressure. Again, the Dreadnoughts, the Dreadnoughts are over here. That's turn three, turn four problem for me. And the tanks, the tanks will live for one more turn. Because need to clear the centre, need to take those points, then round here. Uh, Those are going to get shot by the Plague Burst Crawler here. And I've got Plague Marines coming on this flank. They've been drawn from the smell from that teleport homer. And I put my Poxwalkers all the way around on this flank. You can shoot Poxwalkers or Plague Marines in your deployment zone if you want to. But if I get behind enemy lines or engage on all fronts at some point... Big if. Then big if. (laughs) But uh, I'm, I'm spending, you know, they're good. They're good. They're, they're in there. They're causing some problems. And then over here, this is the third objective I need to get you off. And this Dreadnought, well, it's got impact hits on the charge. I've got a CP this turn, so I can spend that on Tank Shock. And I should be able to do enough brutal wounds in on this squad to secure that objective. Should. If I don't, you're going to get those extra points. So let's start the shooting phase. With these Plague Marines, shooting your Justicar and the Judicia, last yeah. uh, Sword Brethren. Blade Let's shoot him. He's dead, the Judicia and the Blade Guard is dead. It took the Plague Marines and the tank firing at him to take him out, but he's dead. Trying and the Rhino. To, trying to clear away this flank. The Dreadnought does want to charge this unit here, but before he does, he's going to shoot his two auto cannons down into those Terminators. Okay. Because it is a damage three weapon, and auto cannons are damage three. Uh, term- oh, Never I mind. miss. Never mind. And because I don't even hit you, you're not in contagion range. I, well, I am, because I'm within you. But oh, yeah, because sure, of the plague yeah. marines. It doesn't make a difference. Yeah. Well, I'm talking about those plague marines. <sighs> Look, I can't shoot these ones cl- clambering all over the rhino, the ones that I'm going to charge. Mm. So I'm going to use these plague marines. To try and shoot Gideon. This is rude. Let's overcook plasma one more time. Two shots from this fella. One of them hits two shots from the sergeant equivalent. One of them hits. This will wound on twos with no save. I'll and put two. Does he? Yeah. Oh. Right, Takes two save. wounds. Hazardous on the dude and then the sarge. We're good. Light launcher. Never mind. Light launcher did nothing. What about bubotic bolters? Um... In the end, that is five wounds, five four-up saves. He's got two wounds left. Uh, he's dead. And he finally gets he taken falls. down. For vengeance for Cadia, now he's gone. Let's shoot this tank point-blank range into Land Raider. You've got a CP. You're not spending any CP on Well, this presumably range. Mortarian's got loads of AP on his side, right? He's pretty punchy. It's a four-damage weapon with five attacks. So CP? For... Minus three? So Minus I'll save three. it for the combat phase, then. Okay. Okay, yeah, that could that Scrambles, could work. Yeah. Entropy cannons. Uh, one of them hits. One of them is lethal. This will wound on a five. Uh, that is minus three. You need a six up save because of contagion. Nope. No. D6 plus one damage. For three. three damage. Then I fired the mortar in and the stubby gun and it just bounced off the land raider. So we're on to mortarian. First he's going to cast a spell. Rotwind. For D6 plus 3 auto hits for 6. Sorry, they're not auto hits. He actually does need to hit on 2s. And 6 is a lethal because it's a very smelly rot wind. And then the rest will wound on 5s. But 6 is a devastating. So that's a devastating wound for 1 damage. And that is a 5 up save. 5 up? Yes. Uh, So that's 2 more damage. Then he pulls out the lantern, his pistol, which hits on a 2... 
I was really looking for a six because it's sustained hits D3. Ooh, like Dante. Fives. Doesn't wound. How many wounds have I put on the Land Raider? He's got seven left. Seven left. I think he's softened up enough for the charge for Mortarian. So I've got the two drones up here that can still shoot. And this unit of Plague Marines. And there's Terminators right there that are gonna counter. Mind you, there's that captain. While we're character hunting, this unit of Plague Marines shot down the Lieutenant. This unit of Plague Marines are gonna turn around, shoot that captain in the face. Okay, let's hurt him. Bubotic bolt guns. Look at them. They wound straight away. And four wounds, four wounds. You've got the cover. So, so he's four, got three upset. Yes, yes. Uh, fail three. Ooh, he takes three wounds. I think he's only got two left. And let's do a blight launcher. I miss again. I've missed with every single shot from the blight launcher this turn. And let's overcook some plasma at point blank range. And hit him three times. And wound him. Twice. Two more, four up and vulnerable saves. Two damage a time. He has three left. He's dead. And he's dead. And gets hot rolls. Hazardous. I'm okay. Good plasma discipline today. We've taken out the lieutenant. We've taken out the captain. Now let's fire some heavy blight launchers down in at those terminators who are definitely going to charge those plague marines in the back. And I hit on threes. And no lethal hits there. And only one wound. <laughs> and you make the save. Okay, let's rinse and repeat with the second one. Let's have some lethals, please. There's a lethal. And then these, you're in contagion. Okay, three more wounds. Three more four-up saves. Make I tickle it. one. I put one down to one wound remaining. So Drop a good dice. Day. Don't count. <laughs> okay, so that's the end of my shooting phase. And so now we're going to do lots and lots of charges. We're going to do the Black Templar thing. And these Plague Marines, well, they can't fail their charge into this unit that are clambering all over the Rhino. They're going eight. This unit of Plague Marines that got out of this Rhino might as well charge that Land Raider because if Mortarion fails to do it, one wound might be the difference. Maybe. And they get in there. Mortarion goes three inches, which Just. is enough. And then this Hellbrute, which is why I've kept He's my... Auto in. He's in. He's in. So yeah. let's do his impact hits. D3 and plus three. I think it's just D3. Yeah, on a two up, it's just D3 for one mortal wound. And then we're going to tank shock. And with that hammer, I've got 16 dice to do mortal wounds. And two, I think I did four. four. Four mortal wounds. So he runs over two of them on the way in. Then he lifts his massive hammer of doom and strikes down and hits three times. At strength 14, obviously, wounding on twos. What's the AP? I don't know. It's minus three, and with contagions, that's another two dead. So there's only three stood there, holding on to that objective. You've got one CP. Yes. Not enough to interrupt. Let's, I, I need to move this unit. Let's start with this unit. So the Plague Marines engage the Crusader squad. Let's shank them with Plague Knives. <gasps> on threes and sixes are lethal. That looks good. Threes to wound because your toughness is down. Now that isn't any AP, but your armor is also down. Four ups then. One guy's on one wound. So one guy dead, two guys dead, one injured. Okay. So that's two down. And let's thump out with heavy plague weapons. Only two hits. One of them is lethal. And the other one wounds. And this is minus two. So uh, four up saves, six up saves. No, two damage, right? Yes. Kills so those two. plague marines managed to take out four from that squad. That was a pretty good charge. Now we're on to the main event. Can Mortarion take down a Land Raider armor on contempt. seven wounds remaining? Maybe not, seeing as you're doing armor of contempt. This is what I've been saving it for. <laughs> Sweep attack with silence on twos. I hit four times and none of them are lethal. Strength 14, so it's threes to wound. Ooh. And that many wounds. Three saves. Three five up saves. How because much damage are going for? Four damage so a time. Two of these, it's dead. Oh, it's alive on three wounds. Let's see if the Plague Marines can do it. Okay, Plague Marines for the win. Here are my heavy bubotic weapons. And that one is lethal, so that helps. These will wound on fives. Two wounds at minus two becomes minus three. Back to minus two because at four up saves. Four up saves with armor of contempt. I'm so confused. Okay, it's all damage. Two damage. 
Yeah, I'm going to come up and wait to say one left. It's one on left. one left. Plague okay. will do it. So I'm going to stick a plague knife. It's leaking fuel. Yeah. Okay. So he's going to stab this plague knife into his exhaust pipe on threes. And then sixes, seven three up saves. You can't drop one. Yeah, I dropped two. You drop two. It's gone. I do get rid of the land raider. And doesn't it doesn't decimate. blow up. It just turns to ash and sludge. And now the Black Templars in combat on the right and left can fight back. Choosing to fight on the left flank yet, because I haven't fought back with my Plague Greens yet. Here's... So, threes from the normal lads, sixes okay. explode. Wow, well, they're very angry. Well, you've killed a lot of them now. Yes. <laughs> Fives though, which okay. is the hard part, nothing. No. And then three attacks from the power weapon. Two hits. And then fours. Two, two wounds minus two. Kills... Uh, no, one's injured. It just injures. It's one damage. It's not master class. No, it's one right? damage. It's just okay. a normal sword. So he stabs one in the foot. We yes. turn around. There's the two heavy plague weapons still in there, which hit on fours. Oh, at strength eight, it does wound. Minus two. No. Nope. Does kill one. And then the last plague knife hits twice. Wounds once. And injures one. So the fight on the left flank is ongoing, but I do OC you off of that objective. Yeah. Which stops Sultan getting those extra sweet, sweet points for controlling more. And now we have the last fight down here with the Empress Champion and the Crusader Squad. Yeah, we've got one guy going into the Rhino, which we'll do in a minute. And then okay. the rest, because I want it gone. Okay. And the rest will hit uh, the Plague Marine. So Empress Champion, six attacks on twos. Okay. Sixes explode. Well, that's six. Oh, out yeah. yeah. Six hits. And then uh, strength eight. So threes. Uh, these uh, are all minus three. Are they? Three damage, yeah. Three damage a time. He's, He's an absolute champion. G, isn't he? Yeah. Uh, okay, so sixes or dead plague marines. Yeah. He kills Ooh, three. Three of them. Power fist happened on the side of the rhino. Two hits. Strength eight. Fives. One, one wound. wound. Minus two. Nope, you're good. Rhino's still alive somehow, and one wound remaining. I don't Power know, fist into don't know the what's plague marines. Okay. Three, three times three. on threes. One wound, minus two. Five up save. Kills another. another one's dead. That's four dead in that squad of seven. We've got a chainsword. Okay. Uh, which hits. Much explosions, big wow. Yeah. And then Five, fives, though. though. Noth one, minus no. one. Ouch. And then anything the else? Axe, yeah. Axe. Three hits. Uh, fours. Just one, one minus two and kills it. the injured guy. So at the end of that combat, these seven Plague Marines that went charging into that squad are down to two remaining, mainly because the Empress Champion is stood there screaming, I love the Emperor, I sent him a birthday card. <laughs> I'm on his Christmas list. That is the end of Death Guard at turn three. I do pick up five points for Secure No Man's Land, which gets the Death Guard back four points into the lead. However, at the start of Black Templar's turn three, you're going to pick up four points of being on at least an objective, but not more than me. Because mm. now I'm on these three, three and I'm on here. Two. Which means the game is a dead draw. And finally, these two Dreadnoughts will be able to make an impact as they come in from this flank. And we've got an uninjured squad of Terminators. We've got two tanks in the backfield, which are still very angry and still very combat effective. So at the start of Black Templar's turn three, it's 43 points each as close as close can be. And the Black Templars want to spread out and engage on all fronts. And area denial take the middle of the battlefield as well. With the Rutanas clambering through the buildings over here, the Black Templars are now engaging on three fronts for three points. And they need to take out the Plague Marines and Mortarian in the centre of the battle grid for area denial. So Mortarian is finally the Oath of Moment target. Yes. And if you manage to take out both of those targets and clear away the remaining two Plague Marines that are holding down next to that Rhino here, the Black Templars would have definitely won this side of the battle grid. And then I'll be on the back foot all of a sudden as the fights down in this side of the battle grid continue. Just two sword brethren hanging on there against the Hellbrook and the remaining Plague Marines. So where do you want to start the shooting phase? What are we sort of starting off with? The car and firing everything into Mortarian. Okay. Um, oh, so I'm already uh, you see, I've got one CP because I got one this turn, and I know your Terminators are going to go charging in there. Everybody is. 
So keeping a CP in my hand for that reroll. Do I do I cloud of flies or do I keep it in my hand for a CP reroll? I feel like I should keep it in my hands for a CP reroll because your oath of moment, you're rerolling all hits anyway. Think about what would annoy me more. It's probably that CP reroll when yeah. you make the save. Yeah, <laughs> that genius thing when it turns it turns that. Yeah, it's not a genius to reroll a dice. Genius, sure. it's yeah. genius. <laughs> okay, Sakara. So yes. Hitting on three is rerolling everything. Okay, and you're in rapid fire range now. So, so I have eight shots. Yeah, more yeah. shots. Now here's the tricky part. He's Wounding. toughness twelve. So it's five to two wound. Yes. Uh, I got one wound at minus one. Okay, uh, three up safe. I make it. Two last cannons. Okay, both hit. Uh, fours. Nothing. Negative. And then the heavy bolter. Okay. Rerolling. Uh, that just gives me the hit. Yeah. And then uh, sixes. Yep. One. Right. Well, just one wound minus one. I fail to save. Well, he's a feeling no pain. He'll be fine. Oh. He takes a wound. a wound. How are you going to clear away the pl uh, plague greens as well? Because you need to clear away. I don't care about that. I told you. I but don't area care. denial. You need I don't to get rid of both. About it. I don't care. Okay. I'm trying to kill the Primark. Okay. Well, he's taken a wound. <laughs> You've started. He's on fifteen left. Where yes. are we going to do next? We're going to do the daddy answer. Right. Okay. Big gun on yes. twos because I stood still. Two hits. Right. Strength fourteen. Threes to wound. Threes. Two wounds minus four. Minus four. Four plus invulnerable save. How much damage is this big gun? D6 plus three. I've asked you about that about five times, haven't yeah. I? Right, CP reroll. This is the time, yeah. <laughs> it helps. So it one helps, D6 you see? plus three, rerollable. Uh, for four, five, six, seven, I'm not going to reroll that. Yeah, rerollable because so that's taken... what they can do. Well, feel no pain. He's yeah. taken a wound so far and another five. Five wounds, so he's six, six wounds, he's down to ten. Multi melter. Yes. Hitting on those. That, that hits, yes. And then fives to wound, I can reroll one of these wounds if I need to. I choose to. Okay. <laughs> <gasps> Sorry, I was gonna sneeze. Is that death guard yet? Uh minus four. <laughs> You're good. It goes <laughs> Oh dear. Doesn't uh, hit. Doesn't hit with the reroll number of shots. Yeah. Uh, strength eight, fives, wounds. Oh, wounds. Minus one. I make the save. Make the save. That's so, and there's some storm bolters. Okay. Right. Then we did the small arms into Mortarium from the tank, and he's down to nine wounds remaining. Just mm. tickled off an extra wound there. Yeah. Now, across to the Redemptor Dreadnought, overcooking yes. its big plasma gun of doom. Number D6 of shots. Plus one. For six. Threes. Yep. Rerolling. For oath of moment. Five hits. Fives to wound. Whoa. Oh, four. Mama. Four wounds? Yes. No, technically, this could kill him. It won't. <laughs> but I'm going to pass all my invulnerable saves. Sure you are. There like you that. I pass all of my invulnerable saves. Hazardous check. Nope. He's okay. D3 shots on the Icarus for two. Hits three. on threes. threes. And to fly on. four plus. Oh, yeah. They both wound. I fail one. How much damage? Two. Feel no pain. He's down to seven wounds remaining. Yeah, he's got a storm bolter, uh, and I make that save. So Mortaren's on seven wounds. Brutalis dreadnought. Yes. Okay. Iron hail heavy stubber. Right. Hitting on threes. Rerolling. Anti fly hits. four plus. Okay. Uh, two four, more wounds. Two twin links. Twin links. Twin yeah. links. Twin links. Four. Everything. Six at minus one. Six? Yeah. Six three up saves. With a feel no pain. He takes another wound. He's on six remaining. And then you've got the twin linked multi melter. Threes. Which hits both of the times. Fives. And doesn't wound. Twin linked. And doesn't, doesn't wound. wound. So what are you doing with the Terminator? Surely you're going to rinse into the Plague Marines now, not take on Mortarion. No, shoot the big one. Okay. He, he stood right there, isn't yeah. he? Yeah. Okay. A bajillion storm bolters. On twos, because you get plus one to hit. I forgot this earlier. You get plus one to hit and shoot you at the moment. Oh, yeah. Okay. With the full reroll. Yeah. You don't really need it. It would be nice to have a librarian in that squad. for. We don't believe hits. in them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sixes. Yes. There Four, is. Two, three. Three sixes there. Three two up saves. I make them all. Nice. And then the assault cannon. Yes. Just to wrap things up. And twos with a reroll. Would lovely be lovely to have those librarians we don't believe in it. Yeah, sixes to wound, but they're devastating. No. 
So that's the end of the shooting phase. Lots and lots of shots rattling into Mortarian, wounding him, but not out of the fight yet. There were a couple of pistol fires that went off here or there for some extra wounds. And now the Terminators are charging. It's a five to get into Mortarian. They want it. That is an 11. They're definitely in, which is interesting because you need the 11 for the Brutalis because you yeah. want to hit this. What are the chances of rolling two 11s in a row? Yeah. Tank. High. That's very yes. high. Tank shot. You go baby. charging <laughs> into the tank. Yeah. So starting with the Brutalis, does impact hits on the charge, so long as you don't roll off one. That's, That's D3. Not a one. That's D3. For one. For one wound. And then he's got strength 12. Uh, fists right and he's higher strength than your toughness so your tank shot is yeah okay you so looking for those fives to do mortal wounds on the charge as you impact in this max is out at six so which is six. good because you've yeah. done many i did eight <laughs> with his natural impact hits that's seven mortal wounds on the charge mm. it's got five left and then he raises his twin linked big claws of doom and starts uh starts sort of ripping it apart he hits on threes with his Brutalis Talons, and he only hits twice. We on threes, well, though. Twin links. Okay. Uh, just one, though. Minus two. Four up save, which are fair. Three damage. Three damage. So I've done It's got two damage. left. Yeah. Somehow the Plague Burst Crawler is not dead. It's still in the fight, but bracketed all the way down to two wounds remaining. And now we're on to the heroics of the first company, attacking Demon Primarch Mortarian. What's this? Twos to hit with Parthis. Okay. Sixes explode. Nice. Reroll. For Oath of Moment. Fives to wound though, this is the tricky part. Um, maybe it's not bad. Not, um, four of them. Okay, four. Minus two. Four. Four up and vulnerable saves. So right now he's dead. That is six. So you need to make sure you do some That's shrugs. six damage. Yeah. Um, You'll do them. Five up, feel no pain. You, if there's anyone who can roll fives up, it's Winters. There you go. It's, it's on two wings left. left. There you go. Have you got any more at weapons? Got the power sword on the, the sarge. power sword on the sarge, but... which hits on twos. Uh, everything hits. I need sixes. Sixes. Can the sergeant cut him down? One. Then just you, one. You can't do it. It's only one damage. Four up and van, I fail. Four up, feel no pain, I fail. Uno. Motarian is on one wound left. <laughs> the tank is on two wounds left. How did that happen? Uh, that's the charging units, right? Yeah. Um, so we're going to fight back then. <laughs> <laughs> Let's fight back with two heavy blade weapons into your uh, champion and his squad over here. Yeah. I'm going to hit them on fours. And that one's lethal. And then these wound on twos. And you need six up saves to keep dudes alive. Why two die? I take out two. Then we rounded out the assaults around this flank here, where there were two Black Templars hanging in there. Managed to take out one more of the Plague Marines before they fell to the massive hammer from the Hellbrute. So this flank is secure. Then we went back to the Emperor's Champion. He's still alive with two guys in his unit. He managed to clear away the last two Plague Marines there and the Rhino finally. So breaking free on this flank with the Black Templars, breaking free on this flank with the Plague Marines. And finally, we're on to Mortarian, striking back at these Terminators. Now, he's a bit poorly, mm. so he's going to hit you on threes. Oh. And he's got five attacks, I'm going to do the overhand swing. So, striking out, threes to hit. He hits twice, three times, sorry. One of them is lethal. And at strength 14, he wounds all the times. Now, each failed and vulnerable save will kill a Terminator. I make all of them. With Mortarin and the First Company going toe-to-toe -to -toe in the middle of the battle grid, the Black Templars have definitely pushed out the 14th Legion from this settlement over here. Uh, they haven't got anything left over on this flank, but I haven't got anything left over on the other flank. It's been absolutely brutal. However, at the end of turn three, they don't get area denial. They do get three points for engage on all fronts. And remember, it was a dead draw, so that puts them into the lead. Sultan also killed at least a unit for four more points. So Two seven units. points this yeah, turn, yeah. but I killed more Yes, for eight points. It's also worth noting, you said there's nothing over there. You've, you've got some pretty angry looking villagers. What, the pox walkers? Yeah, yeah. yeah the po okay, I've got some pox walkers over some here. Zombies to blow down at the end. Yes. Um, am I on more objectives than you? No, because you pushed me off that one there. Because you've got an OC of higher than me. 
So let's go on to death guard turn four. Okay, so it's 55 points to the Death Guard, 50 points for the Black Templars. It's been going back and forth, back and forth. And I need to bring it down, kill vehicles or monsters, and storm a hostile objective. So it's all to play for. Let's get down into the dirty business of the end game. We've got Plague Marines on the left and Poxwalkers on the right in that corner over there, hiding behind enemy lines in the enemy deployment zone. And this is what it looks like around here. Basically, you're on two objectives. I'm on two objectives. We have the same OC of each other here. Yes. And I fell back with a tank because I don't want you killing me in close combat. If I'd have stayed in close combat, I could have shot out. Yeah. But then you just kill it. Yeah. And you take that. So I've fallen back with a tank, holding on to that. Well, stopping anyone score that. And as for bring it down, kill one of your vehicles, I find that highly unlikely with the guns that I have. So what I want to do is storm... A hostile objective. Mortarian has ordered those plague marines forward and it's a six inch charge to engage that Sakaran. I'm not going to kill it, but I will storm that hostile objective and have three units up in your deployment zone. Meanwhile, I need to pass a battleshock test on Mortarian. Yes. Because he wants to fall back. Has he got a higher leadership than normal Death Guard? I think his leadership is at least zero or something. So <laughs> he's definitely, definitely going to pass. The um. um He's got a leadership of five. Yeah. He failed that. Because I want to shoot your Terminators. That's not because he's afraid or anything. That's because he wants to kill he, them. He want, yeah. Well, I could do a Beth desperate breakout test now. Yeah. And on a one, two, he'll die. Yeah. Because uh, I want to shoot at those Terminators. Yeah. Otherwise, those Terminators are going to beat him to death. Because defenders fight first. Yeah. And you'll fight first. Like explosions and and explosions and stuff. So the way I figure it is, if I stay in combat, he's dead. If you fall out, if I fall of, combat, out of combat, there's a chance that he might live. Okay. So let's do a desperate breakout test let's with see. more Dartarian. This is as desperate as it could be. Otherwise, I lose my Warlord. Don't roll a one or two. It's Ooh, a five. It's Overwatch. a five. Well, what do you mean Overwatch? The Sakaran. The Sakaran. You're going to spend. He's not out of the gauntlet yet. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Right, that's where I want to put Mortar in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but at the start of the movement phase, let's see if you can shoot him. Yes, I need sixes, but he's still my oath target. Okay. It's nothing so far. So the full reroll. Yeah, if he survives this, what a legend, right? There we go, there's okay. that. Last cannons. I'm going to do the bolter first. Bolters. Sorry. Look nope. at the sixes. Reroll. No, no, statistically, I should get a six at some point. You should. This is it. This is it. That's it. Reroll. Ooh. One hit, on strength four up. 12, toughness 12. He survives. What a hero. Okay. Well, he's not a hero, is he? Mortarian manages. He is a hero. No, he's like an evil man, but he's still a legend. He's not an evil man. He's just misunderstood. He just wants to uh, show you a new religion, a new way of thinking, entropy, disease, chaos, disgusting things. Yeah. We like disgusting things. He's like the kid who eats worms. So the kid who eats worms has taken some steps <laughs> back from your Terminators. So I'm going to shoot both of my Blight Launchers at the same time into Terminators. Yeah. Uh, that's what they. That's what he stepped back for. The idea is Blight Launchers, Dreadnought, and the Plague Marines that are coming for this Sakaran want to cut down the first company. So doing both of the heavy Blight Launchers together, there's no sixes. So no lethal hits, but these all wound on twos. So that is seven wounds at minus, well, invulnerable saves, essentially, two yeah. damage a time. One's on a wound. So you kill a guard a wound, you kill another, you kill another, and you injure one. I rolled really badly on my saves. So there's two left. Let's shoot an auto cannon from a Hellbrute into him. Very angry Hellbrute. One of them hits. Uh, that's really cocked. And it doesn't wound. Okay, Plague Marines will unload on threes and fours because of contagion for two wounds. Three up saves because of contagion. The injured fella falls. And then the Blight Launcher, which keeps missing. Let's hit with this you Blight Launcher. A miss with a Blight Launcher. <laughs> Not again. You've done this, what, four times? Yeah, yeah. Burn those dice. No, no. Overcooking Plasma. Here we go. From the Sergeant. From the other guy. That's two hits. Two's to wound because of contagion. Two wounds. Two invulnerable saves. Uh, I'm alive. He's alive on one wound damage, left. Yeah. Hazardous checks. We're good. Good plasma, See, plasma discipline. Plasma is performing, whereas that blight launcher guy, what is he picking his nose or something? He is. He's using it for <laughs> other things. 
Um, <laughs> I moved this round so I could shoot him. Was his name like Sp Sputulus? Fire the blight launcher. <laughs> <laughs> Pull it out your nose. <laughs> Point it at the enemy. The grenade. <laughs> <laughs> so the mortar from here is actually going to come up and over into the Emperor's Champion. When you shoot that, you'll get blast. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm not shooting at my plague marines. The entropy cannons are going to straight shot this guy though, and one wound remaining. Let's get rid of the first company. Here's entropy cannons and the stubber in case this fails. Is, okay, yeah, so yeah. we'll do the stubber. Stub will do yeah, this will, this will definitely so, do it. Yeah. Three hits. Strength five. Your toughness is still now, down. Yeah. Uh, two wounds at minus one. There you go. I told you what happened. I take that him goes. down. At the risk of derailing the conversation, how, would, how cool would it be if plague mortars could fire at your own units but it heals them? Because it's plague. I like it. Like plagues. I don't That's it's really cool. good. Yeah, yeah. You'd miss out on doing loads of damage, but you might like put a guy back. In. Well, you know, like artillery can fire smoke shells and other yeah. shells and things like That's that. That's your apothecary. Yeah. You get apothecary, so you fire yeah. an apothecary at your dudes. It fires a big pile of spludgy acid, and they quite like it. It's, it's like, like the Necrorian. Yeah, you yeah. just come back. Yeah. Um, right. Well, put a mortar though that isn't going to heal your unit down into the Empress Champion's unit, and it's D six plus three shots. And that's the maximum number of shots. Fours to hit, I can't see them. Two hits. One, one wound. <laughs> you get a three up save. No. Oh, I'll kill one. It's two damage. Kaboom. Um, that is the last thing that can shoot. Because okay. these two fellas who took out that other squad have climbed back inside that rhino and they don't intend to get out for yeah. the rest of the battle. By taking out those terminators, it might keep Montarian safe before this Dreadnought comes charging in to do something. But at least I've given the Dreadnought some choices because does he want to kill this thing on two wounds remaining or does he want to go after Mortarian? I he think might that... leave it to the Redemptor, I don't know. Oh, that's a good point, yeah. you've got the other one. So now we're on to the charge. It's a six inch charge to that Sakarin. I've got one CP, I haven't spent it yet. Good luck. And I need Storm Hostile Objective. And I make the charge anyway. The Plague Marines make it there, then we did the combat. It's the only combat this turn and I put two wounds on the Sakaran. and the scar and didn't do any wounds back again and that is the end of uh, death guard turn four I think I was four points in the lead five points in the lead I just checked five points in the lead and now I've stormed a hostile objective that's ten points in the lead however you pick up four points for being on one of these objectives mm -hmm. and I've only killed one thing so I am going to get my four points for killing a thing but if you kill two yeah you'll get eight well, the Sakaran can fire into combat, so... Sakaran can definitely fire into combat. There. Yeah. Uh, but all you got left is your big vehicles and the Emperor's Champion locking it down over here. As we go on to um, Black Templars turn four, I mean, I just... I'm, it's been brutal. It's, <laughs> it's been there. absolutely brutal. So it's 60 to 54 for the Death Guard. Just six points in it and the Black Templars want area denial locked down the centre of the battle grid. And kill as much as possible with no prisoners. Behind that tower over there, there are a unit of pox walkers. But apart from that, the Death Guard have been pushed all the way back here. Tank on two wounds. And the rest of the army is around here. And Sultan has a plan. The Zakarin is still in combat. This uh, gladiator went straight up the centre of the battle grid to get area denial. And what is the plan, Sultan? The plan, if it all goes perfectly, is to kill everything on the objectives, including Mort and Mortarian, and take four objectives by the end of the turn. So, the Redemptor Dreadnought is lining up shots into this guy. Into the tank. The Brutalis can do either Mortarian or this guy. Or the tank. The Lancer can do either Mortarian or this guy. That's a lot of redundancy. There's a 10-inch charge into Mortarian or an 8-inch charge, I think, into that. With the Emperor's with Champion. Emperor's Champion, who didn't advance, he walked. Okay. And the Sakaran, this is going to be... Um, it was going to be Oath of Moment, but I realised if the Sakaran doesn't own the objective, he rerolls all hits anyway. Yes. So he doesn't need to. So in that case, the Oath of Moment will probably be Mortarian again, because it's cool. Okay. All right? Okay. Command points and things. You've yeah. spent it on this unit with the Emperor's Champion to give them both vowels. Yeah, the two vowels, one sustained hits and lethal hits. Because okay. if he goes into either the tank or Mortarion, he'll want those hits. And I'm up to two CP. Yes. So I'm definitely cloud clouding or flyzing Mortarion. Fine. So he's going to be minus one to hit. Yeah. Where do you want to start the shooting phase? Sakaran firing into these guys. Minus one to hit, rerolling everything. Into the play Yes. Right in front. Okay, here we go. Force to hit with a reroll. Not bad so Because far. that's what Sakarans do. Yeah. Nice. Okay. And then... Threes, threes to, wound. to wound. Strength nine. 
That is four at minus one. Okay. Three and damage. Every failed save will kill a plague marine. Yeah. Uh, you kill three of them. Nice. Last cannons. Yeah. Reroll. Two hits. Two. Twos. Two. Two minus more three. Waves. So two have died so far, and another two die. There's two left. Yeah. Heavy bolter. Rerolls. And that's sustained. Okay. Force to wound. One. Uh, one wound. Minus one. Killed another one. There's one guy left there. So Just now I have the, the sergeant. Objective. Yeah, you've taken it off of me. <laughs> I definitely don't OC that one. Right, now we're on to the Redemptor Dreadnought, which is trying to snipe out this tank in the backfield on two wounds. You're not overcooking for the first time because you don't need to. Nope. D6 plus one shots for uh, four. Four shots. Okay. Threes to hit. Three hits. Fives to wound. No. No wounds. That's fine. Then we did the small arms and one came through with the Icarus pod. So I need to make a three on that tank. Yep. Which I do. Yeah. Otherwise it would have been dead. And that is the Redemptor Dreadnought fired. Yes. So no damage caused from the Redemptor Dreadnought. We have the Brutalis. We have the Gladiator left. Where are they going? The, so the Brutalis is going to stick his anti-fly into the flyer. Okay. Why not? And into the Melters Brutalian. into this. Right. So start with the Melters. Okay. So he hits on this on threes. We have two twice. hits into the tank. Fives. Twin linked. Changing dice. Helped me once. Minus four. Okay. Five save. up and vulnerable save. Yep. The melter shot gets through. You're good. But the shield holds firm. And then anti fly into Mortarian, who flies. Rerolling everything. Uh, Force to hit, though, because oh. of Cloud of Flies. It all hits. Yes. Force to wound him. Twin linked. Three, two up saves, because strangely enough, things. I fell one. Shrug. He's got one wound left. I've got two CP sat over there. No, one CP sat over there. Or I feel no pain. I'm, I have to CP reroll this. I have it's to try and keep my warlord yeah. alive. He's yes. alive. He's alive. He's alive. The tank is alive. The Brutalis has done its things. Yes. Now we're onto the tank. Uh, we're going to do these guys first. Okay. So we got a single bolt pistol Into more from time. the Emperor's Champion. Hits. Uh, with a reroll, sorry. Hits. Yes. And then sixes. No. It would have been cool. And then the other guy. It would have been so cool. Reroll. With a reroll. No. No. It would have been cool. It would have been cool. Cool. Pistol shot to the face. Shot, shot. Sure, I think it's just this. Yeah. 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 So um, we're just going to put everything into Mortarion. Everything yeah. into Mortarion. You're going to leave the tank. Yeah. Okay. That's a laser destroyer. Okay. Threes. Because you moved. Well, uh, fours. fours. Fours, yeah. Hits once. Both of moment. Hits once. That's one hit. Threes to wound with a reroll. Rerolling. Re That's cocked. Nope. No wounds with the big laser destroyer. Okay, the melter on the top hatch. Yeah. Fours with the reroll. And then fives to wound. Make melter great again. No wounds come through. Icarus pod. Right. For three. I want to do the charge anyway. <laughs> you, want to, you want to charge him anyway? Yeah, it's okay. the poetic thing. Uh, these were hits. Okay. Uh, no hits so far. One hit, and it's anti-fly two up or four up for Icarus? It, it depends which Icarus type of pod it is, but it's normally anti-fly four up. I think that's a wound. We'll check it. If I don't make the save, you made the I save. made the save. Storm and then bolters. there's a couple of Storm Bolters. Yeah. Not uh, death by Storm Bolter, surely. Eight shots. Surely. Uh, Rerolling everything, because okay. only one hit so far. Yes. So a few more hits. Now it's the sixes to wound. That's the tricky part. No. Negative. You're all good. So at the end of your shooting phase, yeah. you killed six Plague Marines, and that's it. Yeah. Okay. Well, one's a Primarch. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. So now we're charging. Yes. So we're going to do the Brutalis into Mortarian. Okay. Because it's more guaranteed. Yes. And I don't have to declare all at the same time, do I? No. It? So I'm going to figure out what happens. <laughs> so Brutalis trying to charge Mortarian. And that is it. an eight inch charge. He goes mm. flying in there. And then the Empress Champion needs a what to get to the tank. He's gonna go for the, oh, that goes with him. He's gonna go for the tank. Yes. And it's an eight. Okay, an eight to hit the tank. Here we go. 
And no, that's he's six. holding the centre. He needs a way to do. See, I killed a thing. You need to kill a thing. Yeah. At least one thing. Yeah. And you've got a Brutalis Dreadnought that does impact hits on the charge on a two up. Don't roll a one. I'm going to roll a one. No, you don't roll a one. That is flat three. Flat three damage. Yeah. He's got one wound left. I can make three five up for no pain. You've done it in the past. I've got this. Oh, I don't, okay, we're good. I don't got this. <laughs> Do you know what? Mortarion blows up. But not this time. Not this time. You just tear down this Primarch and send him screaming back to the wall. Then we did the combat down here between the Sakaran and the last remaining Plague Rain. You put one wound on my Plague Rain. I didn't yes. manage to injure the tank. And then we were just checking rules, making sure we didn't screw anything up. And you can re-roll charges with the Emperor's Champion. Yeah, so well, with because he's with a Crusader squad. Yes. Um, he's teaching him how, I guess. Yes. <laughs> Uh, Zeet will say no. Um, That's cocked. Yes. Zeet says yes. Zeet says yes. <laughs> so the Empress Champion striking out at a Plague Burst Crawler. He has both vowels, remember? Yes. So twos. Uh, and then no sixes re would have done sixes things. Sixes would have lethaled and exploded. That's a shame. But it's a strength eight now. Five's the wound. One wound minus three. Five up, invulnerable save or dead tank. There it's alive. Go. And then we have the last dude with his axe. And no sixes, no nothing hits. happened. Yeah. Just bounced into the tank. So at the end of turn four, before we head down into the end game, you killed one thing, I killed one thing. So we both get four points at the end of that battle round. However, you have got area denial. Yes. And you have got no prisoners for killing at least a unit. So that's two points for no prisoners, five points for area denial, four points each. Then at the start of turn five, I'm going to pick up four points for being on at least an objective. I'm certainly not on more from you, more than you. Basically, it is as close as close can be <sighs> as we go to Death Guard turn five. So at start turn five, adding up all the stuff and things, there's three points in it. 68 points to the Death Guard, 65 points to the Black Templars. I need to capture their outpost. I'm not going to be able to do that. And investigate signals, do actions in the corner of the battle grids. Well, I'm all over the battle grid. So with only three points in it and the Black Templars on more objectives than me, and more than that, they score those points for holding objectives at the end of the battle round. I need to pull out some magic here. I am investigating signals. This tank isn't going to be shooting. Because no. that's worth points. Here, these plague marines that came on and those pox walkers over there. And that's six points. Um, as for capture enemy outpost, I can't do that, but I did pass a Battleshock test and walk back out of the way with that Plague Marine there, because you do get four points for killing a thing, and I don't want you to kill anything. Yes. And I advanced one of the drones round here to double team this objective here. So I definitely control this one and this one. You control this one with the Redemptor Dreadnought, that one with the Scar, and that one with the Gladiator in the middle of the table. So all I've got to do, charge the Gladiator, kill the Gladiator, take the central objective. And then, and then, yes. <laughs> That's the plan. We're going to start off, however, with the two Entropy Cannons shooting these guys straight in the face. On fours. And they both hit. And they both wound. Minus. Minus, well, no save because of contagions and things. So, um, that will kill this guy. Yes. But then once per phase, he can make something zero damage. Okay. So that becomes zero damage. Okay. Okay. So we'll kill that guy because it's a minimum two damage. And now you definitely damage. control that, even if you weren't sure. <laughs> yeah. Well, the tank's only on two wounds left. They don't want it to die. Here's the stubby stub gun going in and it does a wound to the Empress Champion. Two up save goes to three up save. Good. And he's fine. Uh, now it's Operation Hurt That Tank. Yeah. Oh, and the mortar from here obviously was going out and hitting the tank. A popping smoke. That's the plan. Okay. The mortar will have eight shots. And it hits on fours and six is a lethal. So there's two wounds already. And there's three wounds in total. You need to make uh, five up saves because of contagion, because of the dreadnought. I've got pop smoke, so... Uh, four up saves then, yeah. I make two. That is one damage. Uh, two damage, sorry. Uh, then the Dreadnought fires in and hits both of the times and wounds one of the times, three up save. All good. And you make it because of smoke. And then we have the Blight Launcher 
which is going to fire in as well. I forgot to move him back a little bit, by the way. Out of charge range of your dreadnought. I'm moving him over there because I, I don't want you to charge him. Here is the Blight Launcher into tank. Uh, one of them is a lethal hit. Just one lethal hit. Fine. And minus two, minus three. With the smoke, that's fine. You're fine. That is the end of my shooting phase. So the Dreadnought is going to go charging into the Gladiator. That is an eight inch charge. And we're going to do tank shock and impact hits. First up on a two up like that, I do D3 mortal wounds for one mortal wound. And then we're going to tank shock. So we're looking for fives as he goes swinging that hammer on the way in Six there. Six of them, so I've got three wounds left. You've got three left. This hammer hits on fours, but it does D6 plus one damage. I just got a hit. Yes. I just got a hit. He hits yeah. four times. It's going to be wounding that tank on threes. He wounds three times. It's AP loads. I think you might get sixes to this, but let's roll some dice. Minus two, I'm guessing, right? It's minus three. And you've ruined my save, so oh, that's yeah. just dead. Yeah, yeah it, it is minus three. Yeah. And no. It doesn't blow up. Yeah, no save, and that does a lot of damage. I take out the tank, I've killed a thing, and more importantly, you're not controlling more objectives than me. But that thing where you control more objectives than me happens at the very end of the game. Yeah. So right now you're not, yeah. but you could, and you need to control, kill at least a thing. And I get six points for investigating signals. You don't get the four points for controlling an objective until the very end of the yeah. game. Let's find out what the orders are for the Black Templars in turn five. So at the start of turn five for the Black Templars, we're doing some quick maths. Yes. Because I'm on 74 points, you're on 65. If you take, an, you, let's assume you always have an, you'll have an objective. Yes. Which will be 69 to 74. Yes. So five points in it. And you've pulled Storm or Hostile Objective, take an objective off of me. Hellbrute has an OC of three. These you have an, have an OC of four. of four. So that's draw. That is draw. And then cleanse is do actions on objectives in no man's land. And the Redemptor Dreadnought can cleanse that I'm one. I'm not winning from doing an action. And then you're going to get two points. The thing is, though, you wouldn't win because you also need to kill a thing. I've killed one thing for four mm. points and you'll be two points in the lead. But then I'll also hold more. So another four points. You'll hold more. One, two, three. Yeah. You will hold more. A few moments later, what did you say? I don't want to win by cleansing stuff, I want to win by killing stuff. Okay. I want to actively be a participant. Okay. <laughs> so. so you're not going to cleanse this objective here, which means that there's loss conditions and draw conditions for you now. Yeah. Because you've got to kill a thing. Yeah. <laughs> I, the thing is, in the back of my mind, oh yeah, I could have won. Could've. Okay. Sure. Dull. Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to start yes. by evening out the odds by killing something. You're going to put everything from the Sakaran into that Plague Marine. Yes. A dice roll later, that was quick. Two yeah. lads can us to the face. Plague Marine gone. You've killed a thing, I've yes. killed a thing. Now we're coming around to the Brutalis putting shots into the Hellbrute. Yeah. And you made him the Oath of the Moment. Uh, I made the uh, Crawl of the Oath of the Moment. You made the Crawl of the Oath of the Moment. champion to be a hero, yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, I want that thing to survive. So I I'm nice, gonna... I've got a CP over there. And you're gonna come charging in. I'm cladophilizing this. Okay. I'm gonna be minus one to hit him. So fours to hit. Okay. Yes. Melter hits once. Once. Uh, wounds on a four. four. Wounds minus four. Demon save. Uh, I need a six. He doesn't oh. have demonic stuff. Strangely enough. No. D6 plus two damage. For six. It's on two wounds remaining. Icarus. Still alive. On fours. Uh, and then... Oop. You hit four times. And then... Uh, Five. Uh, strength four. So six is right? Yeah. Six is twin linked. Uh, one minus one. Uh, it's on one wound. Oh, it's on in. one charge wound in. remaining. What are you doing with the Redemptor? Well, first we do a bolt pistol into the tank. Okay. It doesn't hit. Okay. Oh, no, it was the at the moment. <laughs> it hits on a six. Doesn't wound. Cool. Redemptor put in everything it can into that drone. Into everything. the drone? Yeah. Okay, D6 plus one shots into the drone. Overcooking because it's important for this one. Yes. So D6 plus one for five. Five shots. Hitting on threes. And wounding on fours. And in the end, that's one, one wound. That's and four. I fail the save, that's take three, three damage. Decent. Hazardous check. He's Good. okay. Then we'll do the other guns. 
Then we did the remaining small arms from the Redemptor Dreadnought into the drone and no further damage caused. So now we're on to the Black Templar phase, the fight phase, the Brutalis. Charges the Hellbrook, impact hit. D3. Th There's one left. It's only got one left. The Hellbrook has gone Vengeance. and blows up and does a wound to the Brutalis. And now we're coming down here to the Emperor's Champion versus this tank. Cool. Uh, Emperor's Champion hits on twos. Uh, no sixes again. Okay. Fives to wound. Fives to wound, yeah. Uh, wow. Lots of wounds though. Five, Five wounds from the Emperor's Champion at the Dying of the Light. Kills that tank. That tank is definitely gone. And that one blows up <laughs> as well and does D3 wounds to the Emperor's Champion. He gets a bit of shrapnel caught in his head. And that is the end of the Black Templar's turn. And this is the way the world ends. So each game turn it went back and forward and back and forward until the very end of the game. And at the very end of the game, the Black Templars hold more objectives for eight points and killed more for eight points, as well as storming that hostile objective, which gives them a final score of 85 points to the Death Guards, 78 points. And with painting standard, that's 88 to 95 points. Would you Adam and Eva? At the very end of the game, the Black Templars only lost dropped five points um you're two points away from maxing out the primaries by the end of the game that was <laughs> awesome and at the end you've got two dreadnoughts a tank and the emperor's champion yes that's all you need yeah um you know losing most of your army but winning the game shows that you used every single one of your models and every single one of your assets to Perfectly, basically. I mean, the blade guard who died would disagree. But... <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what I mean? If you've only got a couple of units left at the end of game, but you win, yeah. then you've definitely... It's, what is it? Efficient is the yeah. way? Yeah, well, the best trade was yes. Helbrecht. The, well, yes. The amount he and his squad murdered. That was 10 Light Lord Terminators in the middle of the table. That was yeah. him with five guys, and you went through them like, uh, I don't know... A, a rugby player with a cricket bat. I mean, that was a long bomb charge as well. That shouldn't really have happened. You made two long amazing. bomb charges. Yes, the two 11 inch well. charges. The Emperor protects, my friend. Yeah. Um, at the end, I've got a couple of drones floating around and some more troops than you. There's some guys in there and some guys over there and some poxwalkers in the corner. But the Emperor's champion, along with these two ancients here, well, um, well, you've driven me out. Completely driven the Death Guard out yeah. of this thing. Well, so. they have names for a reason, old Kyphon and Kephalon. There's yeah. a reason they're here, yeah. <laughs> your lieutenant's better than your captain, you know that. They're, well, normally, sometimes it's the other way around. Yeah. Sometimes Bastan's amazing, sometimes Gideon's amazing, and they, they butt heads. Right, okay. But they're friends, you know how it is. See as well, mm. jumping Mortarion forward. I knew as soon as I jumped him forward, you'd jump on him. And as yeah. soon as I jumped him forward, you jumped on him. But he needs to jump forward and do things. And I needed to jump on him. And I was just leaving him loose just to run around and do stuff. That's true. And at that early part of the game, when it was only a couple of points in it here or a couple of points in it there, it was just I didn't want to send him up and lose him straight away. That was so awesome. Bad, isn't it? Um, I have to say that is one of the best games of 40k tenth edition I've played. Yeah, same. Um, it felt close. I never, I didn't know which way it was going to go until back end of turn four. Yeah. And we were like, oh, okay. Yeah. I think I see which way the wind's blowing. Yeah. But if Matarian had lived, maybe it wouldn't have gone that way. Yeah. I got a bit worried. <laughs> I think me and you should play bigger games. That might be the thing because my failed shooting turn one, yeah. if we'd been playing at 2k, might have come back to cripple me. Yes. Um, however, I had an amazing combat turn, so it... Mm, but the fact that I had more to bring back after you yeah. took away a bunch of mine, you had more to bring back after I did that awesome combat. Like You know, in 10th edition, sometimes by turn one or two, you've got nothing left because it can be so brutal. But at 3,000 points, there's a lot more redundancy kicking around. Yes. So even when you have a failed shooting turn, then you can bring it back with something nasty here, something nasty there. And you can bring the bigger toys. And you can bring... We'd well, like either way, could toys. you bring two Land Raiders or Mortarion or all that kind of stuff? Because Mortarion in a 2k game is a th like quarter of your army. Right? Uh, it's 325 points now or something. He's not 325. as good. 325. He's not as good as he used to be. Uh, yeah, he's, 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 he's essentially a Land Raider with a Feel No Pain, right? Yeah. I mean... Uh, with a feel no pain and then fun, yeah. But he's not as killy as he used to be and not as buffy as he used to be. It used to be uh, Magnus was the worst one and Mortarion was the better one, but they've flipped that frown upside down and the Thousand Suns players are loving Magnus right now. Mm -hmm. two, la two, two Land Raiders, though. Love me two Land Raiders rolling, rocking around the battlefield. Looks so cool. I've got a Angels list with two Land Raiders. Have you? That I really want to play, but I want nice. to play these guys more because they've been on the table in so long. 
Well, uh, next time, maybe 3,000 points of Blood Angels, because I know you've got about 28,000 points of that particular Space Marine chapter. That yeah, might be keep, nice to see. They keep growing. <laughs> yeah, they keep growing just like a big red boil. <laughs> they keep growing and like growing and growing. Like a puddle of blood. Like a puddle of blood. Just expanding. <laughs> they do like a bit of blood. Anyway, we do hope you enjoyed that battle report. If you've made it to the end, drop me a comment in the comment section. You know, I appreciate you. Thank you. Say uh, beans. Yes, just beans. <laughs> or you can put baked beans or runner beans or what is your favourite bean? Yeah. In the comment it, section. What's your favourite bean? If you had to only eat one bean, the rest of you, and all the other beans went extinct, what bean would it be? Kidney beans. Is corn on the cob a bean? No, it's corn. Is it a vegetable? <laughs> it is a vegetable, but it's, it's corn. It's, co it's corn a vegetable? Yeah, it grows on the ground, doesn't it? Because it would be corn. Is yeah. that a bean? Corn, corn isn't a fruit. It's definitely not There's a no fruit. There's no seeds in it. Um, but I like can corn. Also, write in the comment section below whether corn counts as a bean. It's, it's, it's not a bean. <laughs> it's a bean, though. It looks bean shaped. Yeah, but that doesn't mean it's a bean. Okay. I can tell you what you look like, what you are. <laughs> <laughs> what is your favourite bean? Uh, pick a bean, any bean, let me know. Shout out to all my wonderful members. Thanks for con your continued support and making this magic happen. And shout out to all my subscribers as well. And, uh, Drop a like, subscribe to any YouTube channel out there. Us YouTubers really appreciate it. And happy wargaming. Say goodbye, Sultan. Bye, Sultan.